hello there. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, how's it going? It's a fine su uh, Saturday afternoon. It's not, it's not, day. It's a fine, fine afternoon. And, um... <laughs> We're going to be taking a look at some interesting stuff today. Um, I decided I wanted to read one of... I, I watched um, Crimson Rogue's videos talking about uh, Onision's books. I don't really like to give the guy that much attention. Um, but, like, I feel like it's different with the books. Because uh, I, I feel like his videos, he goes out of his way to be awful. But I think the books, he actually genuinely tried. And that's... Uh, that's that's a little bit sad. Um, yeah, I, I I've described this book to some people uh, as incomprehensibly awful. Um, this is the third book that we're going to be checking out. This is um, called Reaper's Creek, and he's he's written three, I believe. So this is the 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 newest one, and yeah, they only the each one gets worse. Um, it's it's kind of amazing. Uh, it actually gets worse with time in the book too. Uh, for one thing, he's got a certain scene um, in which things happen between uh, adults and minors, and that's, uh, uh, as Sonic says, no good. Um, <laughs> yeah, he done did that. Uh, he, he, he did indeed do that. I, I saw a few people uh, before the stream started were saying, like, oh, did you run out of ideas for streams? No, I've got plenty of ideas for streams. We've got a lot of other weird stuff planned for after this. I found out about another guy who's, like, kind of insane uh, by complete accident. So that was cool. His name is Shiverbert. And <laughs> somebody was actually recommending I check out a different guy. And, and I, I think they got the name wrong. And so I looked up this guy, and it was like, oh, well, this is... A completely unrelated psychopath, but yeah, um, yeah, no, I just, um, I, I, I feel like, uh, I, I don't know, the, the third book is very special, like, like I say, it's, 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 it's incomprehensible, like, he, he writes, I think the character in the book is 14 or something like that, and, um, he, he writes, I would say not even at the level of a 14-year-old. He got worse with the three books. It's kind of amazing. Um, now, as you all know, this is a, a legitimate book review stream. Uh, this is completely in fair use, definitely not bullying. Um, so everything should be fine uh, on, that, on that regard. I've, I, actually, I got a message a little while ago from some guy on Twitter who was really a uh, big fan of my book review YouTube channel. Um, and they wanted me to check out their, uh, new book, which was about, I, I don't remember what it was about, but he was, like, from Spain, and he said, check out this old blog that I wrote about how my family who lives in Spain is being oppressed by Donald Trump. I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't give you more information than that, because I didn't click on it, but, you know, that, I don't know. That sounds, that's a, that is a very interesting story indeed, um. So, yeah, uh, we're now legitimate book reviewers, according to that guy. So, this is all totally above board. Um, <laughs> we're gonna just start this out here. Oh, yeah, I was gonna... People told me to, to drink, even though it's one o'clock my time. <laughs> um, people told me to turn, to turn this into a drinking game. So, uh, I, I, I have no rules set for the drinking game. Um, so... You're going to see some shit, I guess. I, I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out. Uh, but it's, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty special. So this is the book. I I'm, uh, I'm apologize for the... Uh, I am apologize, uh, indeed, for the weird way that we're going to be looking at this. I actually had a lot of trouble figuring out how the hell to read a docx file. Because, like, my Word... My Microsoft Word is all messed up. And, uh... Uh, it kept showing it to me in, like, protected view. I don't know. There was... I tried... At one point, I only got a scroll bar. But anyways, this, this, this'll this do. From what I can tell, Google Docs was having problems where it would, like... For some reason, the whole book's got this weird, like, back thing going on. It looks like a Sega Master System box art. <laughs> it's, like, printed on line paper. I don't understand. Um, so, yeah. It, it's... It, that kind of messed up with some of the display on certain programs but it's fine we got it here for some reason it's in this 
like micro window. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, that's 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 okay. Uh, let me just go and grab uh, a a bottle of Jack to to brush my teeth with. Hang on, uh, boy, that's a musical reference. H hang on, just a second. But no, yeah, that's good. Oh, there you go. You know what? You know what? You know what? If I if I I've never really particularly been drunk before, so being live right now, this could be, this could be a very interesting situation. Uh, you guys are you guys are gonna be in for a treat. Um, be right back. Okay, we're getting this drink. One o'clock in the afternoon, but you know what? That's fine. Drinking it straight out of the bottle. That's how the men do it. No glass, no ice, not even a coke. This is. This is hardcore living, Crystal sipping. I've been getting into Kanye West lately, which is great because I'm exceptionally white. Uh, my my neighbors must think I'm just insane. I go from Blind Guardian to Kanye West in the blink of an eye. It's it's really something to behold. Anyhow, drink has been acquired. Here we are with Reaper's Creek, the worst Onision book. I really have to stress, though, before we get into this, I know some of you might be thinking, well, it's Onision. We, we know. He sucks. He's bad. And, yeah, it's a little irrelevant to talk about him, but seeing this book, it transcends, like, YouTube drama. It's like I've, I've, I've noted before that Onision's really just become a, a full-on... Uh, lol cow at this point he's just straight up lol cow and this is really this is like a chris chan this is like sauna chew level i'm not even joking with you so we're we're about to get into this um yeah the reaper's creek there is more before you read this book i want you to understand something all of my books stones to abigail which by the way that is not a title that means anything definitely doesn't mean anything uh, this is why I hate you, and now Reaper's Creek. They are not works of pure fiction. These are stories from my own life mixed in with my imagination. I yeah, mixed in slightly. Just just slightly mixed in. Um, if you guys don't know the plot of this book, there's aliens. There's, uh... <laughs> he fights God. It, it's It's got the general plot structure of a JRPG, but it's like... <laughs> it's like the Hollywood... Uh, movie version of a JRPG complete with like fuck you dad um, <laughs> many of the things told in these stories reflect on who I really was what actually happened and what was going on in my mind Stones to Abigail represented this better version of myself many of the events in that book happened in real life as well uh, this is why I hate you represented the darker version of myself various aspects of the book were derived from my actual life too but this book this one is simply, comma, myself, comma, who I was, who I was both good and bad, comma. Yes, that's perfect. How, during the time this story takes place. Uh, as you read, I'll leave it up to you to decide what events really happened and what is a product of creativity. Right. Yeah, he fights God and there's aliens. But we'll leave it up to you to figure out which events didn't happen. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I think he has superpowers in this book, too. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is, uh... Oh, boy. Uh, we're, we're really about to get into this. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've watched the Strange Aeons videos. Uh, I think she did the first and second books. And then Crimson Rogue did all three. But the thing is, they kind of, like, explain what happens in the book. But I've never had to actually sit down and read how it's written and, like, formatted. And this, this one is simply, comma, myself, comma, who I was, both good and bad, comma. <laughs> you know? Like, well, you, when you read it, when you just hear somebody explain the nonsense to you, it doesn't really have that same, like, you have to see it with your own eyes, you know? <laughs> so here we are, chapter one, welcome to the creek. Um, I'm just going to try to actually get my chat set up here, because um, I... Foolishly closed my entire window. Apparently, my home page is now YouTube. I, I'm not sure when I did that, but there you go. Um, I made a joke about the Louisiana Purchase on the on a Matt McMuscles video earlier, and uh, and now there's an actual like 
a hard, hard conversation about the Louisiana Purchase happening, so that's good. Uh, I'm glad that I could inspire this kind of this this kind of creativity. Um, where is the chat? Here we go. Why can't I say cuck? Uh, Anision just won't go. Oh, you can't say cuck? Oh, that's gay. <laughs> Um, I'll do 150 Nick drag from my jewel every grammatical error. Oh, wow, this one, she, she, K Kelly Birmingham is really going all out. I, uh, subtle writing. <laughs> allegedly. Uh, what am I saying allegedly about? Um, everything is just alleged. It's fine. Uh, he, he never did anything. He's a good boy. He never did anything. Already this looks written by a two-year-old. The commas are attacking. <laughs> Okay, um, oh yeah, Sar Sarai Maverick says, I really want someone to try and make a movie adaptation of Stones to Abigail. That movie could be so bad, it's good. I have said in the past, I really want somebody to make a, uh, I really want Onision to make a movie, because it would be amazing. It would be, it would be, like, the perfect culmination of, like, Tommy Wiseau and Neil Breen and that guy from Getavin with the mustache. <laughs> Okay, all right. Without any further ado, let's let's jump right into it here. Um, get this back up. Now I think currently. Okay, no, this is just not gonna. Okay, that's good. That's very nice. Um, there you go. I think currently Jeff Holiday is doing a stream about uh, Wingnut Roundup stream. He's 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 talking about Jillian and uh, I think Alex Jones was in, was gonna be involved. So. If you guys want to dip out and check that out for a bit, I have no, I have no issues with that. But uh, I, we might not look into any Jillian today because we did look at, at, at her last time. So, but there are other things planned after this. So, um, oh, I, I should ask. I don't. I've never read all the way through this book, and we're not going to go through the whole entire thing today. So, if you guys uh, know any specific chapters that might be uh, of of interest, then be sure to let me know. I think there's. I think there's, well, anyways, yeah. So, welcome to the creek. I was home, finally. My father had taken me so many places. So this is, in the first line, he's already talking about his dad. Um, and uh, Greg, Greg's got some issues uh, with his father. They, they resonate through every, uh, they resonate through every book he's ever written and most of his videos. <laughs> He's got some issues, some minor gripes with father figures in general. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, subtle. He's he he handle he handles it very subtly. Um, my father had taken me so many places when I was in Ohio. He bought me so many things, but maybe that was just to make up for the missing child support payments. Everyone seems so worried about what their ex would do with their money, as if they is the why is the formatting all weird? This looks like a ransom letter. <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> it's like all of the words are in different sizes. I don't know. This might be the website I'm, I'm using to, like, convert this. Uh, everyone seems so worried about what their ex would do with their money as if they are a completely different person than who they originally fell in love with. What? Oh, uh, child support. Okay. What made you trust them in the first place? And why did your trust suddenly go away just because my mom left you? I couldn't hear much of anything over the furnace blasting in my ears. The tiny window at the base of the bed my dad's, uh, my stepdad built me allowed a subtle glow of light to peer in. I crawled over the window to see my sister Joanna playing outside with our geese. She was happy to be home as well. Summer this year was strange. There was a girl there when I looked at her. It felt like she was staring right through me. She had curly brown hair. Her parents were both from Latin America. She was so cute. She was my favorite part of church every Saturday and the entire state of Ohio itself. Oh, uh, I know another guy who's got a, a thing for the state of Ohio, buddy. We can look into that one later, too. Uh, at this point, she is my main reason to return next summer, as I have no idea what to do with my father. Joanna just says ditto whenever she talks to my dad on the phone after he says he loves her. I wonder if he has caught on to the fact that she says that because of the things my mom told her about her biological father, things I think might be true. You know, uh, books are generally, uh, it's just a word of, you know, general, like, rule. 
you want to try to start off in a way that sort of grips the, the, the reader, you know, uh, something that really gets you, gets you going. And, uh, this is not, uh, exactly hitting the mark. I don't know. Uh, it's just kind of whining about his dad for like a full page. Um, he's talking about his sister. Does, does Greg have a sister? Or is it his sister? Oh yeah, my sister Joanna. Okay. So does Greg have a sister? Also, I, I, I'm interested in this. There was a girl there when I looked at her. It felt... Summer this year was strange. There was a girl there. Wh there, there? Where? Maybe he meant that, comma, when I looked at her. I, I don't know. Uh, it felt like she was... He never mentions the name of the girl here. That's very uh, odd. I don't know what that's about. Um, I climbed down my bed... Hanging my chains over my water heater. I I'm just going to assume he means like like pants chains, like Jinko jeans chains, like a wallet chain. Th that's kind of the vibe I get from Greg. Um, uh, I live in an 8 by 6 box. It sits by the kitchen in my 900 square foot home. But it's paradise here. When I'm at my dad's house, I feel like I'm in some kind of cookie cutter Christian bubble cult. Everyone is smiles. Everyone is doing something, going somewhere, uh, but how can they ignore how corrupt they are? I see past them showing off their pearly ivory teeth every time they see me. They are hiding from themselves. They are still breaking many of the, they are still breaking many of the fragile people they encounter and smiling just the same. They are still breaking... Okay, uh, I, 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 walking outside, you know what, no, that's, that's a, that's a minus ten points from Greg, I, cause I don't understand what this line means. Uh, this is a drinking game after all, uh, lest, lest we forget, uh, my liver won't. Um, and, <laughs> and I don't understand what this means, they are still breaking many of the fragile people they encounter and smiling just the same. That seems, I don't know. It's just a weird line. Weird line. Minus 10 points. What did I say before? 20 points? Fuck it. Whatever. Banzai! Okay, that's quite the burn. All right. Um, very nice. Very, very nice and hot. Uh, walking outside, my stepdad is working on another, on making another bed with his bare hands. Uh, just like the bed he made me the bed that somehow allowed me to exist with my own space in such an unlikely place. Okay. Come on now, Jeff Mangum. You can settle down. Uh, where would I be going to bed without the contraption he made me? In the bathroom? Or maybe we just put... Maybe we just put hang a blanket from the ceiling in our little wooden front room. You know, I hate to do it again so soon, but I mean, put hang? What the hell is that? I... Minus 50 points, I'm sorry. I f f was fucking... Okay, the drinks are going to have to start coming smaller because... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... Hi, Papa. I said as my stepdad chipped away. He looked up with his goofy mustache bending to his smile. Oh, hey there, Greg. I'm making this bad for your cousin, Rod. Uh, I smiled and replied, oh, cool, and thought about what he was getting out of it. My stepdad had so much time on his hands. Maybe he was putting food on the table, or maybe he was just trying to be everyone's friend. The problem with friends is they aren't bound to you by blood. There's no promise that they will never go away. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to be reading the whole entire thing, but uh, I, I am going to be skimming over this a bit. So far, we're on Papa. Uh... What are you waiting for, kid? My stepdad asked. I replied, sorry, Papa, but I, I gotta gr grab shoes one second. He replied with a dad-like, frustrated, but friendly voice, all right then. Yeah, you, you don't typically want to have that many... You don't typically want to have, like, two characters talking in one, like, paragraph. That's just a little, little bit strange. Uh, he had a haircut like he was in the Beatles band. The, he, he had a haircut like he was in the Beatles band. The Be the Beatles band. Okay, but the caterpillar above his lip threw the look off. 
I always admired how- I'm just- uh, not, that's fine. I'm just gonna imagine he looks like Goofy. He mentioned the Goofy mustache, so I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go with Goofy. Uh, shoes, he's going up the hill, Papa. He- I said, he replied, okay, kid. Yeah, stop doing that. That's not- You don't do that. <laughs> line breaks, Greg. You, line, line breaks. Uh, okay, so, yeah, yeah, he's going up to the thing and doing the- Let's go to- uh-oh. Missing document. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. I think something might have just gone wrong. Yeah, I think something went very wrong. All the fucking pages are missing. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> As I said, I had some issues getting this to even function. Uh, uh, in a way that was readable and... It seems like it's stopped doing that rapidly. Um, that's a problem. That is a pretty huge problem. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Um, if any of you guys have any suggestions for things that I can use to read fucking Doc X books, I guess I can try... Uh, I think I got, what was it, Libra Office or whatever? Uh, I'll, I'll give this one a shot. I think I tried this earlier and it was like... It froze my entire computer. So if the entire stream shuts down, you know the reason. <laughs> um, no, we don't need to recover. We don't need to... That's fine. Okay. This is this is bold new horizons. If this doesn't work... Um, open read only. Fine. If this doesn't work, then we're just going to have to go on to the next things that I have prepared. Um, maybe we'll do this another time if it doesn't work, but, oh, that, that would be uh, a shame. Let me just check my encoder here to see if I can even, I, I, I don't know. I tried to adjust the, s the scale of the thing slightly last time uh, I had this open, and it just froze everything, <laughs> so it's just, uh, apologies for the technical difficulties, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm currently working on it, but, you know, you know what? I'm not that invested, and frankly, if this doesn't work really soon, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. There's a speedrunner who cheated at Yu-Gi-Oh who shows his ass on stream, and harassed a woman. So I, I could, I could just, I could just go to that. But we're gonna try here. We're gonna give it the college try. This is still loading. You have to understand. For some reason, this docx file is 20 megabytes. I, I don't know. I've never seen. A text file that's like that size before, but uh, th there you go. Um, I should have probably prepared slightly better for this. We might have to, we might have to uh, hot fix the stream and turn it into an anything but Onisi on stream, and just figure something out another time because this is still currently not opening. I'm gonna give this like another 30 seconds, and I'm gonna say if it doesn't open in the next 30 seconds. That uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna call this quits. Uh, still all gray, entirely gray background. If you're just joining us and you're wondering what happened to the book and why every stream of mine that you've ever tried to watch has involved technical difficulties, um, yeah, something's wrong. I don't know. Something's wrong with the e everything is going wrong with reading the book. But you know what? Here it is. Here it is. Um, and it's massive. It is fucking massive and I can't like <laughs> oh god oh my god it's it's like so it's so frozen you wouldn't expect this because it's like a Libra office it's like open source or some shit it's you know it's 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 hipster Linux word processor but yet okay here we go okay this is happening this is now officially on We've got this. This is going. All right. All right. Everything is everything is fine. Let me just get this back up here. All right. Crisis averted, everybody. You see, this is all it takes. It's just a little bit of, you know, elbow grease and and semen. Uh, that's all it takes. Is is that? Um, so where's the text? No. Oh, okay. There's some. Uh-oh. Is this the same thing that was wrong with the fucking other one? Oh, no. 
Okay, no, no, this one works. There was a problem when I tried to read this on Google Docs, where it would have, like, a page that was just this fucking graph paper background. And then some sometimes, and then the, 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 te the text would just be on white. And then sometimes it would cut out certain words. But here there's just, like, long, unnecessary page breaks for no reason. So we've got that instead. Uh, let me just try to lower this again. Come on. Oh, my God. Please don't freeze again just because I clicked scale down. Don't you do it. Do not, do not you do it. Uh, oh my god. Okay, it's freezing. It is actually freezing because I scaled it down again. This is happening. Alright, crisis not averted. Everybody go back to alert mode. Alright, we're scaled down. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so here we are. Where did I leave off? He was going up to a, he was going up to a thing. And, yeah, mom gets home at five o'clock. Oh, what? Oh, no. I felt like I had enough outdoors for that day. It was time to retire to my bedroom and play video games the rest of the day. My game of choice, Metal Gear Solid, a game that had been unwittingly programming my worldview, uncausing, wait, Causing me to prematurely con judge and reflect on aspects of our world, I would have not considered. Wait, what is this? Consid a pot. Consid dash erd. Watch dash ing. What? Abnor dash mali. Okay, now what? Now what is happening? Now I'm just. Hang on. Now I'm just looking at this fucking thing, and it's like, wh what is this? Uh Abnor dash Mali. Uh, I, I guess I can't select text. That's annoying. Um, but yeah, Abnor dash Mali, and then like watch dash ing. I've never seen that before. That's that is unique. That is some unique stuff. Was that in the other version? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, l powering through. He was playing Metal Gear. I don't like that because I like Metal Gear. I feel like this is directly. This is this is not good. I it's 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 rude. Um. <laughs> felt like I had okay we, we saw that uh, I, I don't I don't want I don't want Greg playing Metal Gear I don't my worlds don't need to collide like that chapter 2 the cold glass smack um, mom was a little late getting home traffic she threw her kids on the table and hugged her or threw her keys on the table okay that's very different um, she's not a Linity here come on uh, and hugged her husband my stepdad Donnie how are my kids my mom asked Papa replied, these little rascals, they're alive. Oh, okay, this is not the dad. This is the, the stepdad. All right. All right. My reading comprehension is, is pretty low, apparently. So, you know, this is the stepdad. He calls him Papa. Papa? I, I'm, I'm picturing Greg with, like, a little, like, newsboy cap from the 1920s. Papa, can I go to the old quarry and throw rocks? Can I, can I haul boulders with Monday and Matt, Papa? Please, Papa, I've been so good. Um, so the sister is running into the room. Uh, she wants to go to Monday and Matt's house for the bonfire. Uh, his mom's screaming, no, he's a weirdo who makes fucking Polly the Polar Bear videos. Um, right, come on, Daniel, take a sip. Well, I mean, all right, if you say so. Ah, ah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's some good dead brain cells. All right. Plus three points to the to the to the book. I I gotta say, plus three points, three entire whole whole ones. Um, I'm, I got an excuse to take a sip. I'm enjoying that. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want any. Oh no, it's whiskey. He's the same thing. J j j my my bro. Yeah. J but just good stuff. Um. The sister Joanna, right? The timely shower I took. I'm waiting for the good part. Okay, here we go. Alien figure, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, my head slammed against my pillow right next to the blaring furnace that heated my entire tiny house. The burning gas-filled sound was a welcome relief from the disappointment I felt for my family that night. Ugh, they're just so beneath me. Uh, I knew if I was an adult and saw another adult trying to get a kid to drink alcohol, I'd throw them in the creek head first. 
But no one did anything. No one defended me. I mean, my dad gave me a sip of, of like, beer when I was, like, ten or something, and it was disgusting, and I spat it out. <laughs> you know, the best way to get people to, to, to not do something is to let them do it until they realize they don't want to. That's perfect. That's how you, that's how you parenting. Um... Don't forget, Greg's an uh, Greg is an adult though, and he has children. As you're reading this, and you 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 gasp at his his ability to to write just basic sentences. Uh, just remember that he has children, uh, so that's definitely something. Uh, my eyes closed. How could this night get any worse? I thought to myself, not realizing the night was not over yet. My dreams owned my sleep and my soul. They were about to take me to a place I had never been before. Something was very different. Uh, I felt a chill to my bones. I woke up in darkness, no longer in my bed. I was in the middle of a massive nothing. No sign of walls, no sign of a room of any kind, just silence. I could hear a crackling noise, but it wasn't with my ears. It was like a noise you remember, only this was playing in the back of my skull. I went to touch the back of my head, and when I was, when I was interrupted by another non-audible noise... A non-audible noise, yes. It was a voice, but it was uh, speaking a language I had never heard before. I looked up and saw a warped face. It was at this point I knew I was not in my world anymore. I was in a dream. Despite the warped faces now be dash ing closer to my eyes than before, it remained hard to make out. Like my eyes were sleepy. I'm sorry, were sleepy. Uh, yeah, that's the where the the fabled where sleepy. Okay, just for the where sleepy, you know what? Extra sip. Mine has nine points. What the fuck is a where sleepy? It's like where hog. We don't need that. There's no need for that. Causing an intense blur. Only I could see their body clearly. Their long skinny legs. Their stick like arms. I could even s oh, so this is like this is like MMORG RPG players. I, I I fucked up the delivery. It's fine. They're usually fat anyway, but you'd be surprised how many of them are, like, emaciated. It's weird. Um, I could even somehow see their spine protruding outward and hunched forward despite me having no clear sight of their back. In dreams, I can hear things most can't hear. Yeah, like non-audible noises, apparently. I can see things most can't see. I have no explanation, cognitive abilities in a... I have no explanation cognitive abilities in a sleeping state. Buddy, did you par did you not I get okay, I don't think he has an editor, right? I get the need to I get the feeling that like okay, uh, I'm just going to edit my book myself. It'll be fine. I'm the best, all right? I get that. But did you even did you did you did you do it though? Did you do it? Cuz I don't think you did it cuz I'm seeing I have no explanation cognitive abilities in a sleeping state. Four cognitive abilities in a sl it's still a confu- even with even that way it would be a jumble. It would be a weird sentence That's kind of like the the thing the prevailing thing with his writing is like even when it's not even if it if it wasn't fucked up Let me say even if this is supposed to be explanation for cognitive abilities in a sleeping state It even at its peak. It's still just jumbled and weird and kind of like awkward and clumsy it's just clumsy clumsy writing at its best and this is not its best uh the alien figure spoke what i can only remember as sharp aggressive whispers i was paralyzed unable to escape a perfect victim for whatever the creature wanted to do to me daddy this is what a fly would feel like trapped in a spider web only i couldn't even struggle i was paralyzed physically and mentally the alien Grace the back of my neck with his twig-like fingers. He brushed both hands down the sides of my face and shortly after lined one finger up with the front of my throat. I began to feel a piercing sensation, but it was accompanied with the sensation that I was being choked as the alien pushed their finger into my neck. There we go. We're getting the we're getting the we're getting the the Rick Sanchez burps. It's it's good. It's happening. Uh I could see from other, uh, from another perspective within the dream that they had submerged half of their finger under my flesh as if my soul was outside my body. I could see myself being impaled by this cold gray creature. My eyes turned black as I began to choke up a, a mud and ash-like paste out of my mouth. 
I like when he adds like random dashes to words that don't need them, like B dash ing. But then he has a mud and ash like paste, and there's nothing. There's no dashes. There's nothing. <laughs> That's it's where you use the. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning uh, to you. Okay, this, this has just been copyrighted by the Beatles. By Beatles band. Sorry. Um, we're, we're happy. So happy. Good morning to you. Hoo hoo. My mom sang in the most irritating way to get me up every other morning. Good morning, Chrono. Come on, Chrono. Get out of bed. Go see the Millennium fa Fair. Guardia Fair. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Oh, no trigger jokes. Uh, we're happy to... Uh, so happy. Yeah. Mom, time to go to school. So there's aliens. But that's no problem. He's just going to go to school and it's not going to be a, a big deal. Um, yeah. So... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Do you, guys, do you guys see what I see here? <laughs> His character's name is supposed to be Daniel, right? It's uh, Daniel and Joanna, right? The, the 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 brother and the sister duo, the main characters. My cousin Michelle was at the top of the hill waiting for the bus as well. Joanna remained silent as we walked up. Hi, Michelle, I said as our quarter-mile walk came to an end. Hi, Greg and Joanna, Michelle replied. Yeah. woo 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 Um, yeah, that's, uh, inter you know, it's just a... It's just an interesting thing. I, I just wonder, like, I, I think maybe Crimson might have said this, Crim Crimson Rogue, when he was uh, doing his thing. Um, he may have said this, but I, it, the thing that comes to mind is just, did he just write the story as Greg and then hastily, like, like control F all of the references to Greg and change it to Daniel? Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with Hi, Greg, and Joanna. Also, this is frozen again. This is officially frozen. LibreOffice writer really wants us to see the the this one page with Hi Greg and Joanna. So we're gonna by God, we're gonna see it. We are gonna see that page. And now my encoder is frozen. Very good. Okay, now it's fine. Well, let me just check the chat here. See what's going on. See how you people feel. Uh, people people still talking about cuck. No swearing on this stream. Well, fuck that. This video was demonetized. This stream was, for some reason, demonetized before I could even uh, go live. So, <laughs> so I think we can swear as much as we want. Uh, I'm now my browser is also frozen. This is not. This is not going exceptionally well. I'm just trying to look at the chat. Is the book still frozen? Yes, it is. This is not ideal. This is really not ideal. Um, we might have to just put a pin in this until later because this is, uh, not going great. I don't know what made it freeze. It's just, okay. I guess I accidentally scaled it up and now I'm, a oh my, my God. Um, right. Well, is this frozen again? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Very, very good. <clears throat> right. Well. This, uh, this stream is going to hell. Shitty Jeff Goldblum. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to do about this, this book nonsense. Now there's jackhammers outside. That's, this just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Can I see the chat now, please? Can I see the chat? This is like an hour old chat at this point. This is very old. Very old and outdated. Um... No, now the chat's just gone. Can we swear? Oh, yeah, you know, you're, you're fine. It's a sign claw. Listen. No, we read the book. We're trying. <laughs> we are giving it a shot. Um, IMAX levels of projection. This is extremely uncomfortable. Ooh, ooh Greg Daddy. Okay, that's fine. We, okay, so the chat's been caught up. Uh, <laughs> the chat has been caught up. Uh. Oh, um, somebody asked, sorry if I swore, I didn't know, I, I didn't know we couldn't. Are you not allowed to? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you cannot, you don't need to. D listen, Jerry Seinfeld never swears in his act, and he's the funniest man alive, so don't tell me, you know, that it's, that you need to. 
Sing more, read less. No, listen. We're, we're this isn't this isn't the time for that. Okay, so actually, I need to get rid of my stupid fucking bear. Hang on. Honestly, I need to get rid of the whole background. <laughs> okay. There you go. Transform. Stretch that shit to screen. That's good. Isn't that good? Isn't that a nice resolution for you guys? It's uh I'm just gonna stretch it out now. You know what? We'll just we'll just have it as uh we'll just have it as fit to screen. It's fine. Um is this a lot uh, can I okay, good. Alright, okay, we're back into it. So we're gonna jump ahead a bit. I'm gonna go to a random part in the book. Gre here's so here's Greg and Joanna. Yes, uh, famed characters. Here we are on ch Final Fantasy VII? No, stop! Stop! Oh my god, can't he play, like, fucking, like, Blood Rain or some shit that other kids played? Fuck, man. Oh my god, next he's gonna reference fucking Banjo-Kazooie. No, no, this is bad. No, bad chapter. Move on from this chapter. Okay, uh... Chapter 12, Imposters. All right, now, we don't know what's going on, and uh, that's my fault, but we're also 12, I mean, we're, we're 12 ta chapters in, and we're gonna, re we're gonna read this. We don't know what's going on, because I skipped ahead. But I'm gonna blame Greg, and I'm gonna take another drink, because I'm already slurring my words, so it can only get better from here, frankly. Uh. All right, uh, minus 50 points from Greg, because I just had to take another drink. Uh, I don't make the rules, you know. Last time it was plus three, it, whatever. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want the dreams. I don't want this creature following me around wherever I go. I'm not an idiot. It played, well, I mean, some of us may beg to differ. It played all its cards on the table when it approached me last week. Every day at school since has been torture for me. I would see it looking at me nonstop at lunch, watching me at recess. And why? Because of the metal roof on the school. Oh, I thought that was like a ponderance, like a like a like a Plato, Socrates, like. But why do the aliens watch? Um. But uh. Yeah. So if they can't, s if it can't see me, but if dot dot dot, it can't see me when I'm under metal. Dot dot dot. If it can't take me. Dot dot dot. Well, there's a lot of dot dot dots here. You remember how Movie Bob overused the uh, parentheses? Uh, I think I think we found da uh, Daniel. I mean Greg. I mean Daniel's vice uh, in in writing. Dr jumping up, I was nervously. I walked nervously into the kitchen. I grabbed a pod and a long strand of aluminum foil. He's literally making a foil wrapped, a tin foil wrapped metal pot ha hat. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna go with this was real. I'm gonna say this was a real thing that happened, and Greg faced some kind- Allegedly! Greg faced allegedly some kind of weird mental break in the fucking- <laughs> In the fucking, like, pr preschool, whatever age he is here. And he, he was like, you know what, aliens, and I'm gonna wear a tinfoil hat, and it'll be fine. And, t you know, long story short, d t fuck, fuck off phone. Long story short, 40 years later, here's the Greg we know and love today. Um, suddenly everything felt warm. Tall grass surrounded me. A woman stood across from me in a field. From the back, she looked like my teacher. She turned around. No, she was beautiful. She had perfect breasts. Okay, then. Uh, we just went right straight for that, then. Uh, her brunette hair flowed... Over her naked chest, she was calling my name. Daniel, I want you to be with me, the naked woman said as she began to approach me in the grass. Every time I hear Daniel, I just think about the Bat for Lashes song. I'm sorry, it made the uh, Chinese, the chinese on video. It made Hiding in My Room's video a lot harder to do. <laughs> Speaking of the, hard, uh, the Hiding in My Room video, the last stream that I did, I think it was the last one. It might have been the, no, it was the Movie Bob one. We had this guy in the chat who was like, Apparently an Onision fan, and <laughs> people were arguing with him, and he was arguing back, and I, I don't really know why he was there on a video that had nothing to do with, or a stream rather, that had nothing to do with Onision. Um, but then, like, a, a couple days later, I noticed a comment from him on the uh, Hiding in My Room video, which I did, like, fucking five months ago or something. And he just said, get a life, dude. And I thought, oh, well, you know, 
You're right. Uh, you're right. I, I shall take that under advisement. Um, right. So blank page. So the lady. Uh, uh, hi. I'm. Who are you? Immediately, the woman reached down and began touching herself as she began. What? 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 Began touching. What? Why? Why is that happening? Stared at her. Wondering who. This is a fucking... Okay, this kid is like 12 in this book. Is this the scene? Is this the one? No, I think it's chapter 13, isn't it? Isn't that the one with the scene? This is like a different thing. This is like some lady just randomly deciding to get fucking freaky in front of a 12-year-old. Um, Daniel, she said. Daniel, she screamed. Daniel, come out here now, she screamed even louder. Um... Take the pot off your head, Daniel, screamed the alien again. A drop of sweat slid down my face. You need to take that pot off your head. I'm trying to help you. It'll stop me, but it won't stop them. Still having no idea what to do, I reacted on instinct and ripped off a piece of aluminum, jamming it in the edges between behind my window frame till I could no longer see the alien. So this is like an alien scene where he just randomly decided to throw in a naked lady fucking schlicking. For no reason other than, like, <laughs> because it's Greg and he's, I mean, Daniel, and he's weird. Um, allegedly. Uh, right, so. Papa was screaming, Hey, freak, get off my property or I'm calling the cops. Immediately a deafening silence, con- Assumed my ears, a silent rumble began to shake my bed. I looked up, and before my eyes, the wood ceiling began to... How, how long before that, that bit gets old? <laughs> Fuck off, phone. It was bending outward, groaning under the strength of whatever was pulling it upward. Um, so, aliens are happening. Is this like an invasion? Screaming in terror, I slammed my hands over my ears. Cold, textured ship, right? Okay. Daniel, uh-huh. I'm sorry if you're expecting a very deep, in-depth reading, but it's not that. We've got other, other even worse things to get to. Um, so we're, we're kind of just getting through. Oh, boy, I think this is the one. Yeah. Um, so, right. This guy was, what, 14 here? I think, yeah. He's 5'10", despite being so young. She was about 5'1", despite being four years older than me. I think he's 14 and his girlfriend's 18, which, I mean, makes it, like, n not the worst thing ever, I guess, but not good, and it's weird to write about it. It's weird for, like, a 78-year-old man to write about it <laughs> in this story that's, like, I guess it's a self-insert, so it's, like, it's just him, like, doing fan fiction for his own childhood, um, but I, I don't know. I like this. There was a girl there. Her name was quote unquote Julia. It's just so I, I I don't know. It just it doesn't that just seem strange? Doesn't that just seem like immediately a little strange? Like quote unquote Julia. Before he didn't even in the first time we heard about this girl, I, I think it's the same girl. He didn't even mention the girl's name at all. And maybe that was for effect, like like because he didn't know her name. But it came off less like. I didn't know her name, but I saw her everywhere. It was like Destiny or something like that. Came off less like that and more like, yeah, there was some chick. She wanted to fuck me. And and now she's just some lady. Ah, oh, there's a girl. Whatever. Her name is something. Yeah, Julia. It's fine. Whatever. Like, names are such a social construct anyway, man. Sometimes he's Greg. Sometimes he identifies as Daniel. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Um... Right, so they were listening to Sugar Ray. Uh, okay, uh, standing out on a beautiful deck. I gotta say, there's no era in history where listening to Sugar Ray is, is appropriate. Not even when they were relevant, it was, it was still not okay. Um, you know what? Another sip for Sugar Ray. Minus 95 points. Oh, God. A flashback thought crossed my mind. The boy in the bathroom... He must have injected me with something, done something to me. I woke up, sitting in the corner of the bathroom. A janitor was shaking me. 
The female principal wouldn't come in the bathroom, and he was the only option. He smelled like alcohol. Hey! Na 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 Hey! Take another drink, I guess. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, shaking out of my thoughts. Shaking out of my thoughts, Julie and I decided to play darts. Uh, she tried... Wait, Julie? I thought her name was Julia. I thought her name was Julia, Greg. But now her name is Julie, huh? Ju Ju Julia? Is it Julia or is it Julie, huh? I mean, I can't even be... I can't even be that mad. Like, <laughs> I can't even call that out, really, because he doesn't even know the name of his own character half the time. Well, at least one time. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to make of that. But, yeah, I, I think the name of the woman who wants to fuck him and calls him a natural and loves him and, and yeah. I, I think think the name is secondary to the role that she plays in the story. Um, right, so he played darts at Bantam. Uh, Paul Lim came in and spoke to him in English, and it was really weird. Um Every time, every week, Julie and I would... Okay, is it Julie or Julia? Make up, make up the mind. Whatever is left of it. And I would see it at church. Every week, Julie and I would see it each, other, each other at church. My father was part of a very small gathering he sometimes preached at. There were about... Oh, yeah, Greg hates religion. So he's got religion dad in this one, just to really drive home how much he hates him. There were about 15 members, and we were all pretty closely involved. Having dinner parties at each other's houses. You know? Oh, shit. I just realized it. This religion and anti-father shit. You know what I just realized? He doesn't need to be referencing Final Fantasy VII. No Metal Gear for him. He needs to play the DMC reboot. That's the perfect game for Onision. It fits. Can't tell me it doesn't fit. Fuck you! You ugly sack of shit. <laughs> um... Really there for God, right? Okay. A silly little pawn. Okay, so he's just full on calling her Julie the entire time. Every other mention of her is Julie, but the chapter is Julia. Maybe I should just call her Yuria, like uh, Fist of the North Star. It'll be it'll be great. Um, silly little pond, right? Covered in pond water, Julie looked at me with a smile. Do you want to shower with me? 14-year-old Greg here is going to shower with this uh, legal-aged uh, adult. That's that's great. Um, okay. Going to drop frames. That, no, we're good. For some reason, we're good. Oh, God. Well, there's the word count if you ever wanted to know. Uh uh, you want to shower with me? She laughed and said, don't be too long as she walked out of the room. I blew it. She would have probably showered with me. Uh, why did I say that? Why didn't I just say, yes, please, thank you? Yes, m'lady. Can, can you please shower with me, m'lady? That, that, gee, that would be awfully swell. Um, would we have kissed? Uh, Julie was staring at me from her sleeping bag. Julia. Yuria! I'm sorry, that was necessary. There was a pillow between her sleeping bag and mine. Aw, friend zoned. She had put her hand under the pillow in a way that only made sense if she was reaching out to me. So I reached my hand out and held hers. Okay. Okay, and now they're... Okay, well, we just move straight along from that. That's fine. You get the gist of what's going on there. I don't need to... That's okay. Um, yeah, interesting things for a 94-year-old man to write in his, his book. I, I don't know. Uh, interesting. Now, everybody knows who knows about Reaper's Creek, everybody knows about the that chapter and the weird things that happen of that nature in the book. But I'm going to go on a limb here, which is weird because I only have three of them in, in full. Uh, I'm going to go on a limb here, and I'm going to say that uh, th there's worse parts in the book. From a writing standpoint, from the from the perspective of like, I can't believe somebody actually put this on paper, and he's kind of serious with it too. It's vaguely, it's a ser I don't I don't know, like it comes off in a lot of contexts as being like so bad. It's it's it, you, it couldn't possibly be, like actually this bad. But I I I, I it, it seems like a joke at times. But then 
he writes it so earnestly, and there's three books, and I, I don't know. I think it's real. I think he really puts effort into this. And so that's what makes this part of the book a whole lot worse. Um, we're getting down into the bottom part of the book here. The, uh, the latter half. And uh, for some reason, the last two chapters uh, are a separate text file. So I don't actually have those. But we're gonna re we're gonna read up to about that part, and it'll be it'll be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, right. So jumping straight the the hell along, I guess. Where where are we? Golden Man. Um. Oh, was there a school shooting in this book? I I forget. He has a school shooting in like all of his books. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure if I just go back through this. Papa nurse's office. Um, now I'm just looking to see if there's, I'm pretty sure there was a school shooting for no reason that was just like quickly slept, swept under the rug. Uh, I'm calling an ambulance, screamed the PE teacher as the alien's head smacked the ground repeatedly as it convulsed on the floor. So, what happened? So, I don't know if this is a school shooting, but it was at least... Julia, Ju Julia, whose name is now Julia again, by the way, is, is 18 now. And we've gone all the way many times. He's being 14. I had just started high school. I don't know. I don't know about that one. That seems a little... I don't know. Um... Yeah, so I don't know if this is a school shooting, but at least there's a dead alien in in PE, which is certainly one way to liven up gym class. Because if anybody remembers, I was some, didn't you know? Was I the only kid that would wind up like having to be paired with the fucking teacher or like the foreign exchange student? <laughs> oh god, oh my god, PE was a mess. Um, right, so I don't know if it's an actual school shooting, but it's something along those lines. It's an event occurring in a school. Which involves, like, death, and, and I, I don't know, I'm not, I, I don't know, Al allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Um, Raymond, what's happening with Raymond? What, where did Raymond go? Raymond fell, who's Raymond? Uh, well, okay, what's going on in this chapter? This is, this is chapter 19. I woke up alone to the sound of birds chirping outside. I could hear the water from the creek. If I ever wanted to, I could even hear... My grandmother's breathing next door if I tried. I could also feel feel the radiant glow of death lining our creek bed. It was time to lose myself, my world. I was losing my hunger, losing my urges, growing beyond... Okay, this line here... Um, <laughs> I was losing my hunger, losing my urges, growing beyond whatever I was before, day by day. Um... I've been watching, I've been, I've been listening to, uh, some last podcast on the left about, like, serial killers lately. <laughs> I don't know, this line comes off as a bit suspect. Uh, growing, but losing my hunger and my urges, I just, seems a little BTK, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say. Walking out to the creek, the sun, um... Uh, as I sank my head under the water through the mud with my mind, I made the... Why is this line, like, center justified? What the fuck? What the fuck is up with this? Like, one line is center justified, and then... Okay. Um... There were women down here. I counted 14 within a mile's radius. I could walk inside the earth and come across bones seemingly every hun... Dread yards, reaching through the dirt, liquefied to my touch, I felt the bones of each person. They were all put here by the same man. Gary. Oh, shit. This, this sequel to Bully is really not shaping up well, I gotta say. Um, uh, most, most these women were previously working at strip clubs, paid to leave with the man. Once again, this is center justified for no reason. Uh... Never to see their family or friends again, I rose above the dirt and water, planting my feet on the rocks in the creek bed, as if I were normal for a moment. You know who this actually reminds me more of than BTK? Robert Picton. 
the the piggy farmer guy yeah f fucked up uh <laughs> fucked up fella um i don't know some so something about uh, i don't know just something about the sort of like coldly impersonal wording that he uses in some cases it's just very it's just interesting it's just very interesting um yeah, so he's going after Gary. I soared through the air, waiting for Gary's energy to reach out like... Fuck off, fly. To reach out like a hand to guide me. As my legs trailed behind me, they grew. My arms began to bulge press, ing against my white button-up shirt. Hairs pushed out of my arms and legs and... What? Is he turning into a fucking werewolf? Is that what the hunger and the urges was about? Okay. That's, that's some shit. Um, right. So, Gary and Greg, I mean Daniel, are fighting. I'm actually doing that by mistake now. I'm not, I'm not, that's not even a, a comedic. That's like, it's actually happening by mistake now. Uh, Gary and Daniel are fighting uh, in what appears to be, as far as I can tell, this basically sounds like a Dragon Ball Z episode. Right down to uh, Daniel turning into, like, like, Kakarot and fucking sprouting arm, like, hair from his arms, and, like, is he gonna get a tail next? <laughs> um, so it was, uh, right, get landing shoulder first in a Christmas tree crop, I groaned even more confused about what was happening to me. I felt no pain. I was simply lost and concerned for what had taken over me. I was so used to being in control. Yeah, that's the way Greg likes it, is the control. Yeah, baby. I wanted to see my face, but couldn't as I was still uh, still in my own body and had no reflection to look upon. Everything else was changing. I needed a better look at myself, and there was a simple solution. My soul shot out of my body without hesitation, and I was immediate. Now, I like the way this one just ends on the, on the page break, because it's like, and I was immediate. It's like... It's a good cliffhanger. It's great. Um, immediately able to see a man with blue eyes, broad shoulders, at least six feet tall, sta standing as he looked like he was in his late 20s, almost double my age. It's, it's amazing reading this, how he has the writing, he has the ability, like the writing skill of someone who, not much past high school, like, mid-level high school at best, low-level maybe, like about the age of this kid in this story, this 14-year-old or whatever, um, and yet at the same time, all the shit that happens in the story and the way he writes himself just comes off as like an adult, it just, so it's this weird like hybrid, it's this, this anachronism almost of like he's, he, he, he writes in a way that's so dumb an adult couldn't do it, but he also, <laughs> but his character is also too adult for me to believe that it's a 14 year old or however old he is. So he searched for Gary's energy standing in the field. This literally sounds like Dragon Ball Z. I, I saw a bit of Kai. I never got into Dragon Ball Z, but I started watching a bit of Kai and they had like, what was his name? Uh fucking uh, guy the, the guy the, the, the space guy comes down and he's like i'm gonna steal your baby goku and then like they're fighting in a field and then piccolo dick shows up it's it's a wild time and that's basically what i'm getting from this uh i didn't want to dive into his mind i didn't want to see what he had seen i just wanted to know one thing gary gasp for, I, it's just such a bad name for a villain <laughs> it's like any of you know about Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? It's a game I really want to get when it goes on price drop because it's right now it's a little bit it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, but the the main one of the one of the villains or kind of villains or whatever uh, one of the antagonists for some of the game, at least, is named Jeebel. I, I don't know. It's does it's like Gary. It's like evil villainous Gary. It just doesn't have that kind of. Oh no, Jeebel's gonna do it. He's gonna fucking... Um, Gary gra gasped for air, so I released him and altered his body to have no response to gravity. So at this point, I should mention that uh, Onision is one of the... 
Oh, sorry, I should say Daniel is one of the... Just, just one of the most, one of the highest tier self-inserts. All of his, like, all of Greg's books are self-inserts. And, I, I mean, I think there's an argument to be made to the extent that, like, if you own it and you're like, yeah, this is my self-insert, this is a fake version of me going on crazy adventures, what the fuck of it? I think that could be okay, but... I don't, it, this seems like he doesn't want it to be exactly like him, but if you read his other two books, they're, they are exactly, like, all of the, all three of the characters are basically the same guy. They're all basically the same guy. And it's, it's just, I, I don't know. And, and all, all three of them who are basically the same guy are basically just Greg to the point where he just calls them Greg, so... I don't know. It it doesn't come across as like anything. I don't know. I like. I just don't want to say that all self insert fiction couldn't necessarily be good. I think they could do something interesting with that, maybe. But this is most definitely not it. Just just making just writing a story where it's like, I once upon a time I was fourteen and I had superpowers and I could do everything and there was a hot girl with big boobies who liked to have sex with me. She did the sex with me often. It's like, and fuck you, Dad and God. That's, like, that's not really. <laughs> it's not really. Um, I don't know. It just comes off like fan fiction. Um, right. So Gary. Uh, is screaming about just like the countless women that he tortured and killed. Finding peace, they sounded like justice. Uh, they didn't need him in it. The world didn't need him in it, but a mere breath's time. In a mere... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting drunk. Uh, he ceased to exist as anything but ash on the floor of his half demol ished house. I have never... Okay, no, actually, I can't say that I've never seen anybody write this way. Because I actually have seen somebody write this way. There was a time years ago where I was trying to learn how to lucid dream. And there, I think I mentioned this before, because lucid dreaming is awesome. The whole, like, mind, like, universe in your head, man. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, and I was trying to learn this, and there was, like, this book that everybody was recommending. you got to read this book. It's from this guy. He's like the expert. And I started reading it, and every couple of words was like this. Damal dash isht. Fuck off phone. I, you know, I could just mute this, but it's honestly, you know, that's like admitting defeat. Um, yeah, every every couple of words were, were written like this. It's really, it might just be like a formatting thing. I don't know, but this is very strange. Um, Gary was gone. Okay. Yeah, like there's one thing. They're, they're fighting... What is this? Who are you? What's going on? I screamed back. Why did you kill those women? He yelled back. You're the devil. You're here to claim my soul. It took you long enough. You monster. Okay, so, right. Gary and and, and them had their... and he, the, Right, okay. Okay, now Raymond is happening. The first of the two men was named Raymond. So, I guess there's like a ring of guys who are abusing women... And they don't kill them, but they, they, like, abuse them. And so he's going to get his vengeance. And I, I had this idea once for a story. This friend told me about some bad stuff that happened to her, and I had this idea, like, it would be kind of cool for a story of, like, this this guy and and this this person, this victim, just team up to fucking murder everybody that did it. And that would be kind of cool. Not even, like, as, like, a relationship thing. Like, yeah... Like, that's what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to defeat all these evil guys because I'm great and I'm the guy and I'm the hero and, and women love me. But my, my idea was a little different than that. I don't know. This is it's just a little similar to that kind of thing. But but it's it's written in this way that's just very like, yeah, like, look at me. I'm great. I, I'm, I'm stopping the bad guys. Yeah, look at me. And also, don't forget through this whole thing while he's like brutally murdering these people. He goes to Raymond. The moment he pulled the trigger, the butt of his gun exploded into pieces, shooting into Raymond's eyes. He fell scream-ing to the gravel rocks beneath my feet. I dove into his mind and saw Gary. Gary! I saw Raymond helping Gary load the bodies, and before I could even finish that thought, Raymond was gone. Burned in the rage I felt when I saw him lifting those girls one by one. 
So he literally just ended this man's existence just by thought. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, Ray is, is a pretty bad Mary Sue. This is something else. I don't know. This is... This is... Uh, I'd call him a Gary Stew, but we've already got a Gary, so that, that would be confusing. Um, uh, just for confusing me, another, another shot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. That's good. That's that's excellent. Um All right. Older female cried out witnessing Raymond fall. Yeah, so he's murdering the dudes. He's doing it. He's infinite uh infinite superpowers. So now chapter 20 God. What do you guys think is going to happen in chapter 20, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think might uh, go down. Um, to give you some, so I'll, I'll spoil you slightly on it. Uh, <laughs> I'll spoil you just a little bit. Um, D Daniel never encounters a single thing that gives him any trouble in the story. So anyways, chapter 20, God. Uh... <laughs> So after he fucks up these dudes, it's like light shows up and a skull riddled with decay was revealed and he spoke again. I am an angel and you are disrupting the order of our world. I replied immediately. You are no angel. You are death. I saw your rotting bones and what you are showing me now is a lie. The creature stopped uh, on the ground furiously and screamed, What? How could you possibly? What are you? What is a man? It's very, it's just, it's very Castlevania-like. Ah, Alucard, what brings you back here? Um. Okay, so he felt his chest explode. Uh, his blonde hair thrusted back. He's blonde? This whole time, Greg, we're supposed to believe Greg is blonde? Uh, can you... Blonde? Wait, he, he's blonde. I thought Greg was like an emo fuck. I thought he was like fucking depresso, espresso, espresso man. <laughs> What's he doing self-inserting as a blonde guy? What the fuck is that? Preppy asshole. I could only hope that this creature was going to lead me to the answers I craved. My upper body separated from the bottom and my head smacked against the ground. My blood flew in all directions, even splattering against the creature dead stare. Uh, the reaper silently walked toward my body and bent over to look into my eyes. Uh, I, had, I mouthed words silently to him. Okay. Uh... He yelled back, I am in control. I am death. Okay, that's actually what's happening. This is death. This is the angel of death. This is actually... This is actually a Castlevania boss fight between fucking Daniel... Da Daniel Belmont and, and death. Okay. I'm just gonna assume it went exactly like that. I'm just gonna assume the fucking... He threw crosses at him and, like, <laughs> fucking Medusa heads and shit. I'm just gonna assume it went exactly like that. Um... I crushed him to the size of a child's marble. Okay. So death is now gone. You know, that works in a thing like F Castlevania because it's, it's silly and it's Castlevania. It's like, oh, you killed death. Haha. -ha. Whatever. It's just, it's just, it's just, you know, we killed Frankenstein before or the, the monster, whatever. Because some asshole is going to be, going to be the asshole who goes, oh, yeah, it's the doctor actually. Frankenstein was the doctor, not the monster. Anyways, it works in that kind of game. But here in this book... Like, just at the end of the book, just, like, low-key. Oh, yeah, we just murdered death. Yeah, the concept of death is now not a thing. Uh, we just did that. We just did... And it's not like that has any repercussions, because fucking... Right, should I say repercussions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't really have any repercussions, uh, because fucking... He still goes on to, like, murder God in, like, what? The same page. Oh, my God. Literally. Um, I had converted the existence of death into a crippled and impotent state. 
I had to alter the code of reality again to extract the origin of this reaper from a state of compression that didn't exist before. As I scanned the data before me, I found the source of DEATH! I'm sorry I keep saying it like that, but, you know, the, me, you know, the, the metal horns, the, do, do the thing. Spam the metal horns in chat. Uh, <laughs> it aligned closely with what most humans considered God. But in the code, I also saw a truth many had never imagined. I don't know why I'm doing <laughs> Shatner, but it just feels, it just feels right. Uh, God was not the source of all things. God was just another son. This, okay, I remember this from the, the Crimson Rogue video. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Because he's basically saying the the God that we all, like, I guess, worship is actually not God, and he's just God's son or something. He was just another son. Um, yeah, it's all just a, a dad metaphor. It's all just a fucking dad thing. It's a really not subtle dad thing. Um, it, this is really dumb because, like, okay, so he's not God then, right? Like, he's just not. Like, people, and also, people on Earth, his, his name, apparently, every crime, every tear that fell, it was caused by God. So his name, apparently, is Cull. That's the name of God. Uh, but the thing is, like, people don't know God exists, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a bunch of different religions arguing about how to praise Kull. It's a bunch of different religions arguing about their interpretation of what they think the, the, the creator is. You know what I mean? So, like, to say... It just it doesn't make any sense. Um, and, and more so, the concept that, oh, well, Kull isn't God. Because he's just another son. Or he he is God, but he's he's not because he's not the cre the cre it's, it's dumb. Like who's the who's the god? Who's the main guy? You know what I mean? Like whoever that guy is, that's God. Fucking, it's just like I don't know. It's 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 weird. It's it's like an awkward middleman that has no place being there. Uh, yeah. So God is evil. Blah blah blah. God is evil, and dads are evil. Like anyone's father when he's in his worst mood, blah, blah, blah. Evil dad, evil God. I hate everybody. Fuck the world. I'm your I'm your prom date, you ugly sack of shit. Um, right, the body. I'm here to serve you, the body. Oh, yeah, that's right. He created, like... Okay, here we are. I searched the code for God's location. However, three different locations came back to me. Without hesitation, I lifted my arm, directing my energy to my former body. Lay so he's dead, I guess. Laying there, split in two on the floor. My former flesh united again. Right, so he created this, f like, golem version of himself that he's now just calling the body. Which is really odd. I, I don't know. It's that's all I have to say about it. It's just really odd. Referring to a character as the body. It seems strange. Um, the, I guess that's because he's so powerful he doesn't even need a body. It's kind of like a father-son, holy ghost kind of thing. Uh, it's like... It's like, I, I, I don't need the body. I'm, I'm the, I am the Greg. I don't need the body. Um, so he's going to the god locations. Uh... Julia walked toward me with a concerned expression. She knew who I was. She was already in my mind. I think you might be too old for me now, Daniel. Not good. Yeah, not, I don't know what's going on there. That's, I, I don't know. That seems deliberate and, and, okay. All right. That's fine. That, that's, okay. Uh, another shot. Another shot for weird fucking 107-year-old man writing about, uh, a 14-year-old banging an 18... Another shot. Right. Good God. I said the shots were going to get smaller, but they are not. Um, okay. So her name is Julia again, uh, and not Julie. That was just a momentary lapse. Maybe that was one of Julia's headmates. I, I don't know. Um, he released her throat. Um... Okay, so he's giving her the, I he's giving her the ability to kill God. 
He's giving her the magic ability to do this. Just by, like, touch. Um, but spoilers, he, she doesn't kill God because women can't do things. Uh, only Greg can do, I mean, Daniel can do things. That time it was intentional. Only Daniel can do things. So if, if this lady was to just show up and, and kill God out of nowhere, I mean, admittedly, that would be a pretty shitty ending. It would be like we built up this whole book and then it's just some girl shows up and uses a power that she was given, like, one chapter ago. Um, okay, so they're, they're going to, to murder God. That's what's happening. Um, so this is the last chapter that's available. I, there's another file that has, like, the last three, I think. And, honestly, if you guys want to know how this amazing story ends, you should go check out Crimson Rogue's videos, uh, about this. Because he goes into, he, he's like an actual literature critic. We're, we're, we are now currently an hour and 24 minutes in, and I can, I can stop, I can slightly lower the facade that this is a legitimate book critique stream. <laughs> I mean, this is a, a fair use review in, in complete fair use that's definitely not bullying and not making any allegations that are not purely alleged. But, <laughs> but Crimson Rogue is a little better at actually, like, talking about, like, literature and fiction and things like that. And he doesn't pepper every sentence with the word like 7,000 times, uh, like, like a 14-year-old girl. Um... And he, he covers the whole end of it, and it gets it gets weird, it gets wacky. I don't know how much of the wackiness we're going to see here, but yeah. Um, so he's jumping around from locations that he magically knows uh, where God supposedly is. I think God split himself into, like, pieces, like Aghanim from Zelda, pretty much, and he's, like, sending off the body and himself to you know he splits into three different locations that they have to search right that's what it said before was there's three god locations and so he's got himself the the holy spirit of onision and he's got uh what what's her name Ju julie uh downtown julie brown uh whatever her name is uh and he's got the the body so why doesn't all why don't all three of them do a thing but it's not written like that. Instead, it's just he and the body do the thing, and Julie is also there. Julia is also there. I don't know which one it is. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so the god figure shot energy. Uh, he immediately felt the rock in his head begin to take the blunt of his attack. Oh, no, the secret fucking Zelda weak point. God damn it, Greg. You should have known better than to have a glowing red jewel on your face. That uh, The body... Instantane instantaneously dis uh, appeared, slamming into God in a body five times larger than he had before. It was too late to stop God from damaging my core existence. The attack he had jolted my head with, I was so un underprepared. Uh, so he's striking down the body. Uh, God approaches the body's head with a with a blade, his aura flickered. Uh, the body had defeated the second half of God. As I felt relief, I all allowed myself to collapse completely, yet I remained conscious. This has to be a mistake. This has to be a, a formatting error. <laughs> I could see the body walking over to me. Uh, ba 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 uh, his thoughts, I could not feel them anymore. I could not communicate with... I could see the body walking over to me. His thoughts, I could not feel them anymore. Yes, I could not communicate with him or even sense his presence in the way I used to. In his warm, giant arms, I felt myself lifted. I dangled there like a child who had just fallen from his bike. Well, keep in mind, Greg is still only like six in this fucking story, so... That's, that's an accurate portrayal. Uh, so they're fighting God. Yeah, it's basically Lavos. It's the end of Chrono Trigger. Um, the first God was very informative. I quickly replied, Yes, clearly you learned some deal. You handled the second like he was nothing. But the body interrupted me. I, can he stop doing this thing where it's like multiple people talking in one paragraph? That is very hard to read. 
The reason you can't read my mind, the reason you can't even sense me, is because to defeat the first god, I had to open an entirely different universe of code. Oh my god, what a fucking nerd. For once in a long time, I was completely lost. I replied, go... Go on. The body nodded to me and continued, This world, everything we know here, it operates in... On system. One program. Everything on this world is accessible by you and me, but it is also accessible by the gods. I began to understand what the body was talking about. He was going to tell me that he had found a way to prevent the gods from altering his code. The body interrupted my thoughts. What you're thinking is somewhat true, but in reality, I don't even operate off code anymore. I am no longer a prisoner to my programming. Break the conditioning! Um, okay, so the body's talking, and Ju Julie is there, and, uh, right, God is... As the first god sliced every part of the original form of the body into pieces, his new shell was forming beneath... This is so fucking complicated. The first god could not detect the body, just like I could not, and without delay, the far larger form of the body crushed the first god half into sludge. It's just so hard to fucking comprehend what's happening. Like, all of the... The proper, like, nouns or whatever. The the body and fucking... Uh, okay. Well, this is about it. Yeah. Um, it's the last page that's available. Why did Cull willingly create a monster like God? Okay, so Cull is God. Our God Cull is the, the main head honcho God. And our God is just named God, I guess. And we just conveniently, as a society, decided, as multiple human societies, all of us decided to just kind of settle on God as a name, which just happened to also be his name. I guess that's what's happening. Yeah, so that's some of Onision's third book. Or we, we, we wipe our hands of it. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's incredible. It's, it's actually incredible. There are... I would say this is on the this is honestly on par with something like my immortal like this is this is about this is like 75 percent of the way to, the, to to my immortal was my immortal a joke did we ever find out if that was a joke because I, I it seemed like a joke but but I can believe that it wasn't and this definitely wasn't I mean pr mo most likely definitely wasn't I don't know uh, I'll just check the chat here see what's going on. But my head hurts. I want to die, please. Just end it already. End the book. End my life. This is cancer. I thought it was supposed to be funny. Oh, but my head hurts. My immortal is a joke made by two people. Oh, they, they actually did find out it was a joke. Wow. Okay. Apparently in, in 2017, they found out it was a joke. Uh, oh, Tristan is, ha is here and he hates this, so that's good. Everybody praise Tristan for his amazing work on that last thumbnail. If you guys haven't seen the last video that I did, don't even bother watching it, but just study the thumbnail that he made. It's really good. Especially the part at the bottom where he said Claw is gay in, in, in all small print. Uh, that was supposed to be a secret, but fuck you, Tristan. <laughs> um, so that was Onision's third book. Uh, probably the worst one. I'm never going to read his other ones. I'm sorry, I jumped in full, I squeezed the hog full bore, uh, whatever that means. So, <laughs> I'm not going to read the other ones, this is the worst one, it doesn't get worse than this. The other ones are also bad, they are also very bad, but, but they're not, <laughs> they're not quite as unfathomably weird and just, just concerning. I think, what, I think, like Rich Evans, I forget which which one it was that said this in the in the Neil Breen um, in the Red Letter Media video where they talked about pass through. I think the video was called the the movie the Neil Breen movie. Um, I re I referenced it a bunch in my my Neil Breen video. They mention uh, I think it might have been Josh who said this. He said like oh no no no, no. this is this was this was Rich. He said like uh, this is like. The old, the, the, the middle, the middle-aged man's equivalent of, 
a concerning note that you find in someone's locker in school. And this is like the Onision equivalent of that. <laughs> This is like this is something that your teacher if if your if your teacher found this in school, she would want to talk to you. She would have some words with your parents. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the that's the third Onision book. It's really bad. Um now as I said, we've got some other things planned and it's going to be some pretty special stuff. Uh I've got a I've got a text file here. So all right, I'm trying to figure out which of these things to cover first. I guess I'll do Shiverbert first, because that's the one in the title. Um, so somebody in my chat or somebody in my Discord, um, they they asked me to talk about this guy who wrote like a 221 page fucking uh, manifesto kind of thing. <laughs> Remember the film Marillion? Um, let's get this off of here. If you remember the film Aurelian, it's kind of like that, except it's a little more straightforward because it was uh, a, a guy, like, stalking a, a woman that he worked with. It's, it seems so quaint when it's a man, a creepy guy stalking a woman, you know? Like, the film Aurelian, that was some out there shit because that was, like, <laughs> that was some guy stalking some other guy <laughs> for no reason. Um, but, sadly, we couldn't really find the full version of that, um... I might look into it at some point anyways, but she, uh, the person who suggested this to me, I think she mistakenly referred to it by a different, referred to the guy who, who posted it by a different uh, nickname. And that was actually the nickname of a different dude who <laughs> is like also a weird creepo. So uh, his name is, uh, is his name. Let me just get this brought up here. His name is Shiverbert. Creepstein, I think. Um, and... No, I'm not allowing notifications from Reddit. Thank you. I'm not I'm not that far gone. Uh, I just read an Onision book, but my, I still have some mental faculties. Um, so... <clears throat> oh, fuck. Fuck off. So... Writer at coffee shop changes woman's order without her permission, analyzes her, and then turns down her sexual advances. So this is a pretty entertaining read. I'm about to get into it, but this also, this guy has his whole, whole own separate subreddit. Um, <laughs> where people, like, chronicle the weird shit that he posts on, on the regular. Uh, I guess he's got a Facebook page. I don't know, but uh, here it is. Here's this one. At the coffee... At the coffee shop, I waited in line behind a young woman who ordered her coffee, paid, and quickly rushed to the restroom. The barista called after her, but she was on a mission. Man, she didn't say if she wanted it hot or iced, he said to no one in particular. Make it hot, I said. She switches it up all the time, he said. Make it hot. If she wants it iced, you can put it on ice or I'll pay for another coffee. Deal. Uh, already, that seems like a weird interaction. I guess maybe he thought, the, the, the barista guy thought that, like, thought that they were together or something. Um, she returned from the restroom and waited for her coffee. Miss, I told the barista to make your coffee hot rather than iced because I figured that's what you wanted today. Why would you think that? She asked with a smile, and knew I, and I knew I was right. Well, I was standing behind you in line, and you had goosebumps. Plus, it's a little cool out today with the sun shower and all. And I'm guessing the AC in here made it imperative that you had to use the bathroom. So yeah, hot coffee. That is what I wanted. She scrutinized me a bit. So how are you so perceptive? Oh, I'm a writer. I guess that's what I do. Yeah, you know, I listen to jazz, Coltrane. The list goes on. Uh, so, oh, you're a writer. Interesting. Well, what can you tell me? Uh, what, what can you tell me that no one else here would know? She gestured as though she was putting herself on display. I studied her for about thirty seconds. Well, I'm waiting. She grinned. The vibe of the conversation had turned awkwardly flirtatious. You like rough sex, I said casually. Now, this is the part of the story where I realized that this has changed from, like, an encounter that occurred to this man to. This man writing Sherlock Holmes fan fiction. <laughs> because. 
Um, what? Her face went from shock to confusion and a host of micro expressions that revealed I was correct. What? Okay, but what, what, uh, okay, why would you think I'm into rough sex? You have marks on your wrist that suggest a woven nylon cord or leather belt. Could be yesterday's bracelets, she laughed. Except they were tight enough to tear... Yeah, no conversation is like this. Uh, nobody is... This is... You know what You know what this reads like? This reads like somebody trying really hard... Really hard and failing even harder at trying to be like... Joss Whedon or something. Like snappy, quippy dialogue with like... Like sarcastic people. Um, nobody goes up to someone in public and says... Yeah, you like rough sex publicly. For no reason, and then, and <laughs> and then the person who the, they say that to is like, "Oh, you know, it could be yesterday's bracelets, haha." -ha. It's no, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Except they were tight enough to tear the skin on your left wrist by the bone, but you also have bruises of a thumb and fingerprints on your on your thighs, which suggest they were pressed against your chest as your partner. Okay. Uh, well, this is a little bit too 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 uh, hot for for YouTube right now. I think we need to just skip on past that. Uh, wow, she shook her head and picked up her coffee that was now ready. You are a perceptive devil, aren't you? Like I said, I'm a writer. It's what I do. Was I off in any way? Uh, not at all. Can I ask you something? Sure. I picked up my coffee. Do you have a girl? Yes, I do. She's 18 years old. I'm only 14, though, so, you know, it's a little weird, but... Damn, I was hoping to have some fun with you. Uh, he does. He does have a girl, by the way. Next time I see you, though, I'm buying your coffee. She walked off with a little shiver and a smile. So I'm, I'm guessing that's now why... <laughs> Uh, so this is on r slash that happened, and that's a uh, very, very appropriate location. Uh, I'm guessing this is that, that last line about feeling a little shiver is why people now call him Shiverbert Creepstein or whatever. Um, oh, miss. She turned around. Yes. Uh, another mystery solved by Sex Lock Holmes. Yes. Yes. Um, right. So that's, that's the intro to whoever this guy is. And then... No, uh, Shiverbert Cre Creepstein, yes. Shiverbert Creepstein. Uh, and this is a separate story, I guess. I think this is a different thing. Uh, Shiverbert... No, thank you. Shiverbert Creepstein. Who's a writer, by the way? Receives 5%... Five dollar or five per, uh, whatever coupon and letter from local woman whose sexual proclivities he had pre precisely analyzed. I didn't go for my usual coffee yesterday. Between a swift dispatch of food poisoning and a futile three-hour wait for desert trip tickets, hang on, let me get this in full screen. I was not feeling Monday in any capacity. Uh, apparently. I should have made the trip because as soon as I walked in, the barista said, Oh, sure, you show up today. Yeah, I wasn't feeling well yesterday, physically or mentally. You totally should have showed up. Why? That girl Trish that was flirting with you last week was here. She wanted to buy you coffee. You know, this guy definitely is a writer because this whole thing comes off like like a fucking sitcom. <laughs> like, it, 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 just, it comes off like... like a slightly edgier or harder core, you know, talking about rough sex, um, like Seinfeld, like situational. Oh, yeah, the girl that was in here last week. Yeah, she was flirting up a storm with you, Jerry. Yeah, you gotta go ask her out. Come on. What's the worst that could happen? And then they get into, like, wacky misadventures. Um, right. She's the one you ordered coffee for when she ran to the restroom. Uh... I'm sure we'll catch up one day. You don't have to. She camped out here for a while with her laptop, but she decided to leave this for you. He threw a gift card at me. Unlike her, you order the exact same thing every day, so I told her $5 would cover it, he sighed. Wow, that's cool. Let's do it up. I pushed the card back. B b b back that ass up. Uh, no, there's more, unfortunately, he said dryly and pushed the card back. Wait, what? There's a fucking note in the card, he said, rolling his eyes. Oh, I took the card, popped the holder, 
Took out the note and gave him the card. Can we use it now? What? Okay. Um. Hindu man seemed unfazed, but what? What, what, what? Hang on. I put the note in my pocket and got lost watching the micro expressions of the people there. It's the second time he said micro expressions. Uh, that sounds, sounds like surprise mechanics. That sounds like a good PR PR term for like. Uh, extra face detail, micro expressions, see every pore. Um, the ones who pretended to be happy but weren't, the ones who didn't need to pretend to be happy because they were, the oh god, fuck off with this. It's like, <laughs> you can't get published so you're fucking posting on Facebook. Okay, um, the ones who were proudly miserable, that's me, baby, and the ones who were on the fence, that's all of you. I was watching the jerky moments of an autistic girl who could hear music coming from her hands, standing on the balls of her feet like a cat, as so many do. Y you know, as so many do. Uh, right, yeah. It's the typical autistic person thing, yeah. Um, coffee was called. Did you read the note? Not yet. Want me to read it to you? I grinned. No, please don't. Uh, hey, Shiverbert, your amazing mind was on my mind all weekend. I promised you a coffee next time I saw you, but I figured this would work. Give me a call if you ever want to hurt a girl in all the right ways. Trish. Okay. Right. I wish there were pictures available of this man. Maybe there are. Maybe there are, but, uh... Wow, um... I just, where's the, hang on. There, there's a whole subreddit for this guy. This is still r slash that happened. Here you go. r slash shiverbert. Now, I'm normally loathe to do Reddit stuff because if it's like, I've tried in the past. I did the, the ABDL video because that's ABDLs and Reddit. So it's like a, a good, it's like a good mix. You know, I feel like they go together. Um, but I've tried in the past to do like, oh, uh, we'll do a video about like, uh, just, cringe subreddits, you know? Cuz that's where I found the 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 Wonder Bread guy screen cap. Um some somebody actually mentioned it to me in the comments, but um but then when I looked it up, it was posted on some cringe topia, I think. And I was going to like do a video looking at it and it was all just like the fucking lamest like shit that would have been like seen and and old news in like 2012 V cringe threads. Uh so um <laughs> Normally, I'm not that into to Reddit, but, you know, in the case of Shiverbert here, a place to chronicle the adventures of Shiverbert Creepstein. Um, you can see he's got a lot of... Okay, I hate this fucking new, new design. Um, he's got a lot of Facebook posts. Transcribed a ton of recipes. Uh... 12 pages toward between the 33s. I think I just cringed my pants. Um, what is this? What, which one is this? I was... Oh, it's this one. Hang on. Is it, in praise of grocery shopping. So here's this. This is part one of two, everybody. <laughs> In praise of grocery shopping, a meditation on a source of joy. I was window shopping at the grocery store the other day, which I think is a weird thing to say. Most people window shop at that mall or at stores they can't afford. They daydream at outfits that they have to save up for. So, window, so windows shopping at the grocery store. Okay, buddy. Windows shopping? Are you, are you buying PCs? You gotta get these things right. You think I'm not gonna notice the little tiny spelling errors and, 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 Mistakes like that, but this is a legitimate, uh, <laughs> this is a legitimate, like, literature review stream. You know, we don't let that shit slide. Uh, the gigantic safe way. I don't know if I'm going to go through this whole thing, but I do want to jump ahead and just see what this is, like, about. Um. Square inch of the disabled adults and the eggs, dairy, and bread. What the fuck? How did you write this? Okay. 
simply no way to get the rest of so this is about his mom so he lives with his mom which is I guess not the most shameful thing in the world but when you're writing stuff like that oh uh, boy uh, zucchinis as a child I this is just a whole fucking long ass thing about about grocery shopping uh, I I okay um, yeah this is a little bit less this guy's a little weird but I don't know it's it's not Hmm. I would like to know more about this dude. Like, I just want to know. I don't know. Uh, I, I just, I just want to know what he looks like. You know, you write his, you write stories like that one, and you just, you need to know these things. All right. Well, that was a little bit of Shiverbert. That was a tiny bit of Shiverbert. We're gonna move on. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm looking at some of these, and between the thirty threes, like, I guess he's doing. I guess he's doing uh, a recipe book. Yeah, it's not quite as interesting as it seemed like at first glance, but <laughs> definitely an interesting individual. What is this? This is sorted by hot. So what if I go by top? Uh, all time, baby. Uh-oh, Shivers, your mark of God is showing. The Middle Eastern woman look. Oh God. Uh oh. This isn't good. That not nothing start. Nothing good starts out. <laughs> nothing good on the internet has ever been written that started out with the Middle Eastern woman. I've seen way too many posts that go into <laughs> interesting directions. Uh, looked at me as though a gust of wind had hit her suddenly on the street. You have the mark of God upon your forehead. Nah, that's just a chicken pox scar. Maybe she was Indian, I thought. Ah, modest and funny, too. Um, may I ask what faith you are from? I see that my faith does not matter to one like you. The Dharma shines from you like a beacon. When you asked, there was only a benevolent curiosity. Your joy did not dimin diminish even by a hair. I could be a Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist or a Christian. Jane or G what is a Jane? That's a new one. Or Jew, and your spirit would have greeted me the same. As long as she cut me off, as long as my heart is true, she smiled. Well then, blessings to you, my beautiful sister. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I will never know what accounts for this reaction from strangers. But it happens so often in my life, it cannot be discounted. I don't know what folks see on my forehead, but it's been mentioned many times before. So this presumably white, presumably heterosexual privilege. So this presumably white guy is uh, <laughs> walking around with like a chicken pox scar on his forehead. And apparently people think that it's uh, like an Indian mark of God or, or whatever. Um, and he's not, apparently, but he is also like, Blessings to you, my beautiful sister. As long as my heart is true, she smiled. Like, what What are they... It's like they're... Ref I, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's weird. Uh, but it also didn't happen, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shiverbert mistaken for an angel by the handicapped? What? Okay, I was gonna stop, but... Oh, no. 404... God damn it. I was gonna stop, but Shiverbert is tired of taking shits. No take shits, only give shits. Um Hi, I'm asking for volunteers for my informal student survey. It's only one question and it won't take up too much of your time. Okay, I'm on break, I've got time. Oh cool, here's the question. If you could change one thing in your life, probably or anything. Um I'm probably not going to use your answers. Okay, so everybody else is like, oh, I want a new car or a better relationship. But, but Shiverbird is the thinking man. He's tired of taking shits. He has so much work, important things like this to write. That, you know, taking shits just takes too much time out of his busy day. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of Shiverbird. A little bit of an interesting fellow. Very, very interesting fellow. Um... I'm just going to check the chat here again. See what you guys have to say. Go to reality.com. You, my friend, are an intellectual. 
The skid marks have gone. Oh, that's that's bad. Some, somebody will be mad at you. There's a high ratio of autistic people in science and research. You make vaccines via science and research. Therefore, autism causes vaccines and not the other way around. Oh my god, Super Noodles, you're right. Well, I don't know if you're right, but... Um, <laughs> Shiverbird is a person? <laughs> um... This was still less cringy than Onision. Yeah, it's not quite as bad. It's not quite as bad. Kelly Birmingham says take a shot. I don't know what it was for, but fuck it. I closed my bottle. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> fuck it. This is the this is the transitionary drink. There you go. Okay, that was very good, very good, very good shot. All right, um, so continuing. Which Beatles song is that? There's a Beatles song that ends with John Lennon just going like, I, I don't, I don't remember which one it was. Um, So, next up, moving straight along, I do have a list of things, as I mentioned. So, there was this guy who, uh, let me give you the, the quick rundown, okay? There's this guy who, his name is Kavera Games, and uh, some of you probably haven't heard of him, um, but if you... If you're into the speedrunning community, you may have heard of him recently because he cheated at some Yu-Gi-Oh game. He was speedrunning some Yu-Gi-Oh game, and he did something to, like, the files of the game. I don't really remember, but he did something that basically gave him, like, extra good luck, so to speak. Like, it gamed the, the luck uh, in his favor. And so, cheating, obviously not allowed. You can't do that. Uh... I, I would say allegedly, but it's been proven back and forth that he's cheated. So, not allegedly, he cheated. Uh, and, yeah, he cheated in this, this like, Yu-Gi-Oh game. And you'd think, like, okay, whatever, it's just a speedrun guy, it's just some nerd playing games. Well, after it was found out that he cheated, he decided to go and spam the dude that, that like, proved it. Spam his chat, get all of his people to go spam him and uh and like call him gay or whatever i don't know um, <laughs> whatever stupid thing and um the guy just took this well and he was like well okay i can show you i can prove live how how he he, he how he cheated but he ended up getting his fucking videos taken down i think is what happened the long and short of it is people started looking into this guy and he's got this whole weird history going on Apparently, like, a year ago or a year and a half ago or something, he was streaming some game. And some girl showed up and made some, like, kind of funny noise. Like, it, I, don't, I don't really remember the specifics, but I think it was, like, I think it got him banned for some reason or another. Uh, and so he's, like, taken that out on her by having his fans go and, like, harass this lady. And also getting a tattoo of her face. And you might all be picturing some guy right now who's like the, the you know, well, probably whatever you were picturing with Shiverbert, frankly. Uh, you might be picturing that, like 700 pounds uh, sitting on their bed, uh, you know. You, you might be picturing that, but no, actually, Kavera Games is a very handsome boy. Uh, I'm not even joking. He is a very handsome boy. In fact, I would best be able to describe him as a male Twitch thought. Um, and you're about to see uh, just, just what I mean by that. Now, I quickly saw something there. Now, two things. One is that he's been noted for taking people's channels down who talk shit about him. I'm no longer uh, worried about this happening. I was a little concerned. Uh, I was going to talk about him for a while now because this has been an ongoing thing. Um, I was a little concerned, but his channel's been removed, I think, as of, like, last night. We currently have his backup. 
which doesn't have all of the good stuff, but it's got uh, it's got some interesting things in and of itself. The second thing is that uh, Caveira is, I believe, Brazilian or Portuguese in some some manner or means, and so I'm not going to be able to understand the language here. But <clears throat> let me just say that again. But some things. Trans transition beyond language. Uh, video games. How about them video games? Boy, I sure do love Resident Evil 2 video games. You know, every Vinny stream should be like this. This would be ten times better. He's got, like, like thumbnails and all that, but no, we don't need that. Just show off... Vinny, just show off your ass. That's how you be a real video game streamer. So everybody's talking about uh, Alinity and this thing that happened with her. Where she, like, tossed her fucking cat across a room. And, uh... And then she, like... She took a, a, a mouthful of vodka and, like, kissed her cat with it. And, like, spat the vodka into the cat's face, more or less. Like, that's basically what happened with if you watch the clip. Um, and people are complaining. They're saying, like, she's not getting any, like... She's not getting any repercussions from Twitch. She's not getting banned. She's obviously getting special treatment because she's, like, a girl on the internet. And normally I would say that they're, you're not wrong there. Women on the internet do get special treatment. Definitely. But. But. <laughs> I think in some cases, like, with this guy who does this kind of shit openly, I think he's, like, had his dick out on screen, too. And, oh, and the worst part. The fucking worst part. People in his Discord or his friends or something were sending him, like, links to a apparent uh, illicit videos of people that aren't supposed to be in that kind of video yet. And he uh, reacted in a very interesting way that was, I think he, like, laughed and said, like, oh, oh boy, or something like that. I think he gave the link to his chat. Now, this is all just alleged. I don't really know. You guys should go watch EasyScape and Apollo Legends videos on these on this guy. Um, they get more into the, che the cheating speedrun thing. But yeah, as you can see, this guy is a pretty attractive dude. Like, he is a pretty attractive dude. I don't know if I'm actually going to play any of his stuff, because he may still, like, come after me for, like, playing two seconds of his stream, because that's what he gets people for, is, is my copyright. Ma, you, you played two seconds of, of my footage in the background, so I was able to, I, I'm able to claim your entire video and, like, get your channel nuked. Um, so, that could still happen, so I don't know if I'm actually going to play any of his videos, but as you can see, he's a pretty, like, handsome dude. Like, no lie, he's, I'd fuck him. I'm not even gay. I fucking look at him. That is a fucking handsome ass face. Look at that like rugged beard and everything, and the the muscles. This is great. This guy is a, a handsome lad. That that I mean, I mean like this that, this kind of thing. I've never been one for man ass. I know some women like the like the man ass. I I don't know. It always just looks a little too. Ma male the male form just doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. I'm but. Uh, but, you know, I can see how people would be into this guy. I don't see why he needs to cheat in a speedrun of a Yu-Gi-Oh card game on the PlayStation. Or whatever it was. I think it was PlayStation. It might have been Game Boy or something. But I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And so, yeah, this was just a quick little brief, like, catch-up for all of you. About this weird thing that's going on. In, like, speedrunning. I, I never thought that I would have to talk about speedrunning unless it was chibi necodemics, which might happen. <laughs> but I would really prefer if he kept quiet. Um, yeah, I didn't think I would have to bring up sp fucking speedruns on this channel anytime soon, but... Cause I, I like the speedruns. I don't really watch them that much anymore, but I respect you. I respect you speedrunning boys, you know? And I don't... I don't, I don't take kindly to this cheat and speedrun nonsense. That's no good. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of a quick, like, catch-up with Mr. Cavera Games here. Uh, like I said, probably not gonna actually watch any of his videos, because he's an interesting... He, he has to just know a guy at YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, his, his other channel's gone now, and this is his backup, but, like, at least for a while, he had to just, like, know a guy who was able to get people's videos taken down for the most insane of reasons. 
I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. He apparently tried to sell people fucking steroids on his Facebook. I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Um, it's, pre it's, it's pretty interesting. But, yeah, so that's a bit of Cavera Games. I'm going to take a look at the chat again. And I think we're going to move on to probably, like, one more thing uh, before I wind the stream down. I did have something else that I wanted to talk about. I briefly... There you go. I briefly mentioned this in the last stream, but we're going to go down a very alleged allegations rabbit hole uh, that's going to be very exciting. <laughs> Let me just check the chat here, see what's going on. Yep, worse than Belle Delphine. Yeah, I mean, at least Belle Delphine is... Well, no, uh, honestly. You know, fucking... Om I mentioned last podcast on the left before... They were talking about this uh, Om Shinrikyo cult that did, like, this sarin gas attack in Japan back in 95. And apparently the guy who runs the cult, his name was, like, Shoko Asahara or something. I think that was his name. That was his fake name. Um, he got people to drink his bath water because it was, like, holy bath water. <laughs> and if you look at this fucking guy, he looks like Chewbacca. So uh, you can imagine... There's somebody who's worse than Belle Delphine. Um, what time are we at in the stream? Uh, well, I guess about two hours in. Um, makes sense. Moral of the story, don't trust Brazilians. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. But uh, speedrunning co co community is full of controversy. I can speak, I promise. Uh, catch up, letch up. Why, is, why are people saying catch up? Wetch up. Apollo legend is a legend. Fucking legend. This is an extreme thirst claw. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's just got such a... He's just got such a, a handsome, like... I, I gotta call it as I see it, you know? Like, he like look at him. I mean... Well, yeah, here. Just, like, again. Like, look at him. This is a handsome guy. Why is he fucking cheating in a speed run for a Yu-Gi-Oh! fucking, like, Game Boy game or whatever it was? That's insane. That is, like, unthinkable. That is un... Uh, huh. Okay. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, back to the chat for a second. Oh, fuck. Well, I just closed the chat, so... Um, <laughs> so that was the chat. Uh, yeah, we, we, we've looked at that. Um, on with the show, I guess. Um, I'll open the chat back up in a bit. And uh, if anybody sent any super chats, I, I'll get to them at the end of the stream. Uh, I know I can kind of... It can kind of annoy people when they're trying to watch a stream and it's, and it, it kind of gets bogged down in super chats. So uh, I know I know a lot of like Medicare people get annoyed by that. So <laughs> and we'll do that at the end, um, which is probably going to be not too long from now because our last thing that we're looking at here is a fiend. So some of you probably know who this guy is, um, and I mentioned him before. This guy's been around for a really long time, and he's not really relevant anymore. But he's still he's still around, most definitely. Now I was just sitting innocently eating, making my my spaghetti the other night, and I was thinking, what was the name of that fucking guy who ran like the gamer cult? Because I remember watching a video. From this dude, and if I scroll down, here it is. Athene, the cult leader of gaming profile piece from Glink. This is a very good video. You should go watch this video. He ends the video with Angelus by Elliot Smith, so you know it's 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 quality. Um, this is from two years ago, as you can see. So you might be thinking, oh, you know, Claw, this is this is a irrelevant shit. This is this is like Onision. <laughs> it's like reviewing the Onision book in 2019. Um, and you're right to an extent that this is kind of irrelevant. But the fact that he isn't relevant anymore makes what I'm about to talk about a little more concerning, I, I would say, to an extent. Uh, so, if you haven't seen this video, basically Glink goes over this guy, Athene, right? Basically, he's like a, he's like a, a streamer from years ago, played World of Warcraft, I guess, and a bunch of other games, I think. And he was, like, naturally really good at games, I guess. Um, just like me. Just like me. If you've ever seen me play video games, you know that I'm pretty much the best that there is. Um, and so he became pretty popular. And I think I, I never heard of him before, like, 
like last year, which was already like a year after this one got posted. So I'm a bit late to this, but he got pretty popular. And a lot of the people that were fans of his back in the day, they maintain that he is a very different person now than he used to be. And that back in the day when he first started getting like some popularity, he was a really fun guy. And he was funny and he was uh, all this stuff. And there's one story that this guy tells in the Glink video about how he's been basically a s supporting uh, Athene as, I don't know if, if financially necessarily, but he's been supporting him as, at least as like a fan. Uh, I think he's been a mod in his chat uh, for years. And then Athene just decided to ban him one day because he didn't 100% line up with his weird fucking mindset. So somewhere along the line, Athene went from playing video games to f fucking the theory of everything. This is from eight years ago. So this has been going on for at least eight years. And he makes this theory of everything, which we're going to watch a little of here. Just a little of it. Fuck off. No, I don't need I don't need ads. This vid this this stream has already been pre-demonetized. You expect me to watch somebody else's ads. That's that's, that's nice. Um Athene's theory of everything. Right. So, this is a f fuck off. No, it doesn't. It actually doesn't. Um this is a 50-minute video, which has got a pretty decent like to dislike ratio too. This is a 50-minute video. Which covers basically the, not much more than the concept, from what I can tell, it covers not much more than the concept of basically the brain creates all the stuff. You know the old saying, the brain is the only organ that named itself? That, that's basically what this video is in 50 minutes. <laughs> it's basically him kind of explaining like the brain, the human brain created the concept of God. So we are God, that kind of thing. It's it's very like, like thirteen year old in high school. Um, yeah. So fifty minutes. Fuck off. Quantum mechanics and consciousness and fucking. This is the kind of shit that I that I wrote about when I was like, when I was like twelve and I was like watching Fringe, and fucking <laughs> lost and thinking like, oh man. Concepts, man. That was around the same time I started playing Metal Gear. Concepts. No, nothing more than that. Just concepts. Just weird fucking abstract concepts. Um, yeah, so that's basically all this video is. Gravity is a force uh, interpreted relative to an oscillating frame of reference. The guy is pretty smart. Like, let's let's just say this. Whatever this video is and how it might be kind of a little bit silly. Um, whatever it is, he's a pretty smart dude. He's naturally very good at video games. He he knows a lot of big words, you know. He's uh, he he program. He's like a coder and stuff like that. He's a pretty smart dude. And you know who else is, are uh, you know who a lot of other smart dudes tend to. Um, well, I was gonna I was gonna make a joke about cult leaders being smart, but most of them actually aren't. J J you know what, James Jones. <laughs> Is that his name? Jim Jones? Whatever. Fucking Jonestown. There you go. <laughs> he was a pretty smart dude. And, um, he had fucking, supposedly, he had, like, he did stuff that was, that was, you know, helpful to people, you know? J Jones. Jo Jonestown Massacre guy. He did stuff that was, like, he was uh, supposedly and actually a really strong proponent for, like, racial equality. Genuinely. And that doesn't, st that didn't, that didn't stop him or make it better when he killed like uh, 2000 people or whatever. But, but what I'm saying is sometimes people who are uh, of an interesting <laughs> type, I don't know. I don't know how you describe it. Sometimes people can get into, okay, put it this way. Currently, Athene, I don't want to say anything that's going to get me into trouble here. Because he's definitely not a James Jones. Not yet, anyway. Um, but sometimes people who do weird things can have maybe good intentions at some point along the way. And so a lot of people often reference Athene for his giving to charity. Um, he's given a bunch to charity in the past, apparently. 
And, um, so, the problem that I have with that, you see, is, uh, is, um, is this it? No. Athene, save the children. Yeah, here you go. Okay, so the Save the Children charity is like an actual charity. All right. Okay. See, the thing was, the thing that I was going for, this gaming for good thing. That's the site. That's the site. And again, this is all just purely, purely alleged, right? Purely alleged. I don't know anything that's going on here. I'm just a guy doing a stream, just like Athene. Um, but here we are on gamingforgood.net, right? And this is, as you can see, that's Athene. There he is. And there he is again. And so gamingforgood.net is a pretty interesting site. We can go and we can see dashboard, maybe. Is that it? No. Fucking where? I wanted to see. Is this it? No. Maybe it was a different site. Oh, yeah, it was the Singularity Group. That's what it was called. The Singularity Group. The Singularity Group. Here you go. Here you fucking go. Is this actually it? Or is this a different thing? Because there's another one. No, I think this is it. Yeah, here you go. Okay, so now we're all set up, right? Singularity Group. Gaming for good. So, Athene basically, around the time that all of this theory of everything stuff started happening, he decided to, like, f go off and live in, like, a compound in fucking Switzerland or something, and that's what he calls it. It's a compound. And he lives with a bunch of other people who have, like, very specific house rules. Like, you have to be a vegan, and you're not allowed to hug people more than three times a day, I think, are some of the rules. It's pretty weird. It's it's very strange, um, at least from the outside, like, observation. So, that's been going on for a while. And this Athene dude, um, or rather, I should say, this Glink, this Glink dude, he did this video about this guy a couple years back now. So what's happened to Athene in the time since then, you know? The guy makes this big video. It got a few hundred thousand views or whatever. Uh, pretty good feedback in general. Talking about how this guy is a cult leader of gaming. And what happens? What happens to Athene? Well, somewhere along the line, from what I've heard, he got in trouble with some kind of scam. Some kind of huge fucking scam. Because... <laughs> Let's just uh, see again here. I searched Athene, and you can see d fucking critical here with Twitch is supporting a massive scam. And, yeah, I don't know. Well, now I'm just seeing a bunch of other shit, too, that I want kind of want to watch. Like, um, But, yeah, um, he got in trouble for some kind of shady thing that was going on. Some kind of interesting dealings. So speaking of shady things, <laughs> in the time since um, this video came out by Glink, and now, Athene has put together a very interesting looking mobile game. Very interesting indeed. Um, look at this soy filled face, everybody. <laughs> um... <laughs> This is called Clash of Streamers, I guess, and it's a... I'm not even going to bother with the trailer, because you know what it is. It's a fucking mobile game. It's 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 Clash of whatever. It's that game. It's the same game. It's Lords Mobile. It's it's the same shit. Um, but it uses, like, streamers. It uses, like, Twitch streamers. Now, Athene is no longer relevant as a streamer, so the fact that he's the headline face on this thing kind of... It's kind of like having Tobuscus in your, in your <laughs> fucking thing. But, um, yeah, Athene is no longer exactly the most relevant. So, yeah, massive scam, right? Supporting a massive scam and all this stuff. Let's look up. Let's look up. 
Um, clash of streamers. Let's just see what kind of cool... First of all, 200 sub subscribers. So you know it's a thriving game. Um, but secondly, you know, from like f just a few days ago and, and a week ago, we've got the evolution of Clash of Streamers. We've got an advanced combat guide. Oh, we've got a merchant and marketplace guide. We can learn what to buy with our real money. Um, here we can learn about PRPS and Doobie. What are they? What are these things? Oh, they're, they're cryptocurrencies. Purpose and decentralized universal basic income. Hmm. So, some of you, you know, may be looking at... Uh, some of you may be looking at this video that just caught my eye, in which he literally compares his fucking game to another one which looks exactly the same. Except don't play that one because mine has my scrubby ass looking face on it. Um, yeah. So, some of you might be putting together some of these, these alleged pieces. Again, nothing confirmed here. <laughs> but it's interesting, you know? Guy gets, gets accused of scamming people and, and leading some kind of weirdo fucking compound cult. Guy makes a bunch of fucking weirdo videos about the theory of everything and what is consciousness. An hour-long video. Th Athene versus physicist and all this shit. And... No, oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. And now here we are, years later, he's got a shady looking... I shouldn't say that. He's got a... He's got a not very original looking mobile game, which looks like every other mobile game, which has his soy boy face as the logo. <laughs> I wonder if it's out on the Nintendo Switch. That would be perfect. Um, and he's been caught. He's been, you know, it's been suggested that he may have been involved with scamming people in the past. And here, you know, you got your guide for what crypto or what or what uh, what shit you can buy in the game. And here we've got, uh, let's go to FAQ, F-A-Q, FAQ. Who has saved the children? Uh, leading independent organization for children, children in need with programs in 120 countries. So, Gaming for Goods, or rather Gaming for Good, um, is the name of this whole thing. This whole thing. And then we've also got whatever this is. This is a whole separate thing. We'll get into this in a minute. We will get into whatever in God's name. That, well, actually, this might be what it is that I'm looking into. Singularity group. Our work. Yeah, so this is kind of what I have a bit of a problem with. Just, you know, you get, you get some of these claims leveled at you, and you make this site that's called Gaming for Good. And here you are with your charity work, and your look, it's me being a good person, everybody. I don't know. That seems a little bit like scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? You, you, <laughs> not making any suggestions here. Just purely, just purely opinion. But yeah, um, here we are on doobiex.com, and this is okay. Well, we we don't need to go. I, that looked like some shit that we didn't need to necessarily be streaming. Um, I, I I don't know. It looked like some. It looked it looked pretty hardcore. But the point is. Yeah, um, if you read about this, the team, they're activists working around the clock to make a positive impact in the world. Their main focus is to inspire people through action and raise awareness around important issues. Literally nothing. These words mean literally nothing. These are all buzzwords. So, <laughs> so that's the Singularity Group. Um... There's my I'm a good guy, I'm a good person, don't look at me because I'm good charity website. Um, there was just something that I really wanted to see, and I had it before. I, it, was a, it was basically a site which, which outlined, oh, here it is. I think this is kind of, yeah. Here they are explaining their cryptocurrencies. So, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this right now. No, no, no idea what's actually going on here, you know? Just a suggestion, just opinions. Just opinions. Merely, merely opinions. 
But it seems to me that you get a bunch of people to play your weird game that's got your face all over it for some reason. And you get them to buy your in-game microtransactions. And then you start talking about all these cryptocurrencies and things. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I'm not going to be playing Clash of Streamers myself today. But I would advise anybody who does, just just as, a, as an opinion of mine, just purely opinion, I would advise anybody who plays Clash of Streamers, um, monitor your CPU usage, because I'm just saying, you know, a lot of programs are, exist out there that mine cryptocurrency. I'm not saying this is one of them, but I'm just saying it looks a lot like this is one of them. Um, so anyways, that's a theme, allegedly. That's just, a, that's that's the last part of the stream. Um, that's the last thing we're going to be talking about. I just wanted to, to bring this up. I didn't really want to do it as like a whole, like necessarily a whole video or whatever. Um, I mostly just wanted to sort of talk about this and be like, yeah, this is interesting. This is a little bit interesting. This is definitely, definitely interesting. <laughs> um, I'm going to check the chat here. Uh, one last time. And we're gonna wind this down now. Thank you guys for, for coming out for this whole thing. What do we got here? Wow, how selfless. They're saints. A charity with a cryptocurrency. Seems legit. I help fund a charity. To me. I mean, the thing is, like, the charity, the donations apparently go towards Save the Children or whatever. That's the charity they're apparently working with. But I'm not even, like, talking about that. I I'm looking at it more allegedly, in my opinion, somebody who were to do something like this, potentially. <laughs> somebody who were to do something like what I'm suggesting some person might do, hypothetically, they may potentially decide to hook up with a charity to just to make themselves look a little bit less suspicious, you know, with their cryptocurrency mining um, <laughs> mobile game. But again, that's just a suggestion of a thing that somebody might do, potentially. Not any, th no legal allegations being made here. I'm sure Athene is a fabulous person. Just, just wonderful. Just, just great. Um, just, just like Jim Jones. Um, so, yeah, the chat... Bye, Marth. Gotta go. Bye, people. See you, Marth. Ha have a nice time. You no no. Roy will never be able to compare to you, Marth. He, he just doesn't have his his sword. Just has such a weird hitbox, you know. Um, I think Kelly Birmingham is leaving too. Or oh, is it, okay, okay. She's not. Uh, vegan gamer cult. This got crazy pretty fast. It's like an asylum for gamers. Did he scam or get scammed? Why is it already selected female at the top? I don't know. Uh, Athene is the scammer. I, uh, I'm not saying that! I'm not saying anything about that, but... Um, compound. People are laughing. Dang, it wasn't even Kool-Aid. Athene equals Jack Spadicey plus Mark's faces. I, I don't know who Mark is, but I like me some Jack Spadicey. Somebody said he looks like v Vinny's evil twin. That's Vita. <laughs> V-Dub is locked in the spider room. That, that's not this guy. Um, J oh, some... D D D I don't know how to pronounce her name. Deaxis D D uh, is correcting people in the chat. It wasn't Kool-Aid. It was Flavor-Aid. Jim Jones didn't make people drink Kool-Aid, goddammit. It was legally distinct discount Flavor-Aid. <laughs> they, they had a sale at the Costco. Um... Deadwing, are you in his cult? Yes. Yes, I am a I am a sleeper cell. Um, so I got an ad when I clicked on this stream. Oh wow, <laughs> this stream got fucking pre demonetized. I'm not sure how that happened, but I hope you watched it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, thanks for watching the stream, everybody. Uh, this has been a pretty fun time. I was a little concerned because some people were, were kind of clowning on me. They were like, oh, we're talking about Onision's book in 2019. Ugh. And it's like, I kind of get where you're coming from. I said before I don't really want to give him too much attention. 
because I really do feel like he, at this point, he's gotten to a point where the only way he can continue his existence as he knows it now, on like being having some money like from YouTube or whatever, is by being an asshole. That's the only way he can do it. And he knows this, and so he tries hard, as hard as he can. But the book feels different to me. The books themselves, all of them, feel different to me because it feels like something he really put time into. And yet at the same time, <laughs> you read it and you just can't possibly believe that anybody is, like, serious about this. But, um, yeah, I was a little concerned. Also, the issues, the te technical difficulties at the beginning with trying to actually get this to, to, to work. Um... But it seems to have all worked out pretty well in the end. Um, thanks again for showing up, guys. It's it's a it's been a pretty fun time. Um, I, uh, I I I don't know I don't know what else. To, oh, I should probably switch to. Uh, there you go. There, there's my handsome bare face. There you go. Um, I'm also trying out a new mic setting. I don't know. My mic might be a little bit. Everybody keeps bitching about about my mic. <laughs> It sounds fine to me. It sounds like I, 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 I'm not like I'm not I'm not upset with people who say that something is wrong with my mic because I, I acknowledge that I might just not be able to hear it because it's like my own mic. I don't know, but it just sounds fine to me. You know, it's just so I changed some mic settings. It could be a little different. We still got the noise in the background, but, you know, it's a warm summer day. What can you do? Anyways. Thanks again for watching, guys. Um, we've alleged some, some things, allegedly, towards certain people. <laughs> and we've covered other people that are very takedown happy. So, frankly, if the VOD of this, of this stream manages to last for more than, like, a day or two, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> that's going to be amazing. But, yeah. Um, also, I am, I, I, I'm, like, 0.5% more drunk than I was before I started. I hadn't drank before I started, but <laughs> I don't know. I just don't, I, I had quite a few sips of this shit and I just, I'm not, I'm not really that affected. I don't know. I, I, I noticed a tiny bit of like word slurring and that's about it. But in general, that's just me being an idiot. Um, anyways, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for, for showing up friends. And, uh, I might stream again tomorrow. Um, Somebody in my Discord, uh, one of my patrons actually, um, has been suggesting that I do a, a stream that's just m me exploring, like, YouTube not signed in. Uh, not, like, anything specific, but just seeing what YouTube auto-recommends to me. Um, seeing if we can go down a Matt Watson rabbit hole again. Uh, oh, good God, I hope not. Um, yeah, well, that might happen tomorrow. Uh, I've got another video that's coming in the next few days it's going to be an edited down look at from one of the last streams that i did when we looked at uh Kay and jilly and uh, joey's world tour <laughs> i decided to do like a little uh retrospective uh with our, our our past friends so um you can expect to see that one pretty soon and yeah uh i keep talking about how i'm gonna eventually do something that's on camera but I don't have a good setup for recording myself on camera. It would just look weird. All of my all of the YouTubers that I watch who have like camera setups, they've all got the wall. You know what I mean? The fucking wall behind them. It's always like the same wall, more or less, with like a bunch of cool games and like posters and shit and art that looks interesting. And me, I look like I live in a fucking derelict warehouse. Which I basically do. This apartment is terrible and I need to move out. But, anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for stopping by. And uh, see you guys next time. Um, you guys are expecting a penis here at the end. But, but we talked about Onision today. There's no penis on this stream. Bye.